Main Radio Land. You're tuned to Styles FM Radio and you're listening to the sound of Lady Cleo. And the show is Real Talk. My co host, Daddy Rude, will be heard later on with him almost cutish looking self and him nice color, peachy, brownie, something color shirt. Yeah, he's in studio tonight. <laughs> <laughs> big ups to Father Jacko, he's giving me a big pretty smile. And our engineer in studio tonight is Cassidy, the silent assassin. It's very good to be back with you all. It's great to have you on board. Those who are watching wa via the World Wide Web, those who are at home listening on the radio, it's good. Extremely good. Great to have you on board the show tonight and for those who might not know of course the dial is 96.1 96.5 96.7 fm tune in to styles fm and listen <clears throat> yes fix mike come mike let's go again yeah all right so big ups to all of you who are tuned in via the radio and to all our friends all our friends who watch us via the World Wide Web, we want to say thumbs up to you. Ow. Thumbs up to you guys on the social media pages tonight. We are glad you're with us. On Instagram, you follow us at Styles FM. On Twitter, at Styles FM 961. And for Facebook, you can watch the live feed. You can watch the live feed on Facebook at Stars FM 96.1. Check out the fan page. And for our YouTube friends, you can watch the post shows on YouTube. So you can check out Stars FM Radio. All right. So we have some folk, folks overseas who are always on the go. And, of course, you can tune in. Those numbers for on the go in the USA are 712-832-2772. That's 712-832-2772. In the UK, it's <laughs> 033-0010. <laughs> Let me go again. 033-0010-3322 in the UK. Um, repeat the zero three three zero zero one zero three three two two. Thank you, Daddy Rude. And in Canada, it's six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. That's six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. And for all you folks overseas who are going through some really who frigid temperatures and some real cold weather. Mike wants to kiss me tonight, I tell you. And yes, I have a guy named Mike in studio. Mm -hmm. Ow. And um, <laughs> uh, those folks, folks who are overseas, I know it's cold, hush, hush, and more hushes for you. Um, but if you want to call the show tonight and hopefully Lady Cleo will be able to warm you guys up, um, don't trust that road on that one, ladies. Um, but that number for the overseas connection is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And for all our friends who are here at Yard, right here in Jamaica, where it's not so cold, but a little bit cool at times, that number is 876 Four five three one four four four. That's eight seven six five four three four five three one triple four. That's what happens when you're out for a while, Daddy Road. Have you ever been out of action, Daddy Road? I'm always out of action. <laughs> I'm least expect I was least expecting that response. You bowl me tonight on that one. <laughs> Big ups to our friends on the 91.3 FM in Brooklyn and 102.9 FM in the Bronx. Tuning in uh Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Kudos, kudos, kudos to you all. And our friends right here. Let me big up some people right here in Portland. Big ups to Chichi in Anchovy who is tuning in to Styles FM. And to Miss Claudette down by the river. You are the stream. Big ups to you, Claudette, for locking in to Styles FM. And all our other listeners in Anchovy and other parts of Portland. Big ups to you tonight. Black Hill, Black Rock, 
Hector's River, Kensington, wherever you are across Portland, Windsor. I don't want to start calling names, you know, true, true, true. That's a mistake, yeah. So all the Portlanders, big ups to you. Our friends in St. Mary and those over there in St. Anne. St. Thomas people, you're large all the time. We want to big up everybody tonight for tuning in and for keeping it locked and for supporting your very own local radio station. All righty, Daddy Rude. It's kind of good to see you. I see some hair growing back on your head top. That's good. You have new growth. <laughs> Say thank you. I, um, I, I like your head. <laughs> That's a familiar phrase. <laughs> and yours is okay. No, I will not accept no okay from you. I haven't seen it for how long. I have a new hairdo. And you tell me my head look okay? Like just an O and a K? I'm, that is not okay. I'm trying to get used to it. It's different. It's, there it should be hitting you. It, it should be. It, it's 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 gr maybe by the time maybe about nine thirty. I like it. <laughs> Which is another six minutes. Yes, maybe it's, 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 it, could, it could be rapidly <laughs> growing on me. I hope so. <laughs> but what it tells me though, uh -huh. is on, that here we if, go now. if you do one of them here, selling with them ball off, you know, mm -hmm. it probably fit you because not the first time I can say a part of your real head. <laughs> yes. Every time is. I see some, some... The stylist decided to give me this. Yes. Because I guess she's a stylist, so she decided to give me this style. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So I just walk with it. Okay, fair enough. She said, do something different. So I said, all right. <laughs> yeah. That's it? Mm-hmm. So you, he gave me the cut and the stuff and the bob and big ups to my stylist, Matto and Sh uh, Shauna. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a duet? They work together. Oh, they work together. It's mm -hmm. why you said they were together. They work together. Okay. You know. Yeah. You what? like? The ring? Not the ring. <laughs> the fingers. Oh, oh, oh. Remember you just pop in my face like that. So, you know, normally when a woman have on a ring, they're like. No, you know? it's in my right hand for crying out loud. Well, you know, Martin. And the other, ring, other hand would have blinded your eyes. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That made you go, huh? So, thanks to Shelly. For the nails. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah Jesus. <laughs> Big ups to Nyla. Nyla is having a birthday today. What? Happy birthday, Nyla. From St. Catherine, our avid listener to Styles FM. Do you think she shaped as good today as she shaped yesterday? Oh, yes. It's, it gets better with age. It's one year older. <laughs> Nyla, I leave you to Nyla the next time she visits Portland. Yes, leave me to Nyla. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Kevoy in Sunny Hill. Big ups to you as well and to Nyla for locking in. Enjoy the rest of the birth night, pretty lady. True, true, mm -hmm. true. Do all the things that I wouldn't do. Uh, that should be a good thing. That should be a good thing, Nyla. Do all the things he wouldn't do. If he had said do all the things I would do, then you're in trouble. Some serious trouble. <laughs> I, want so like, to, I want her to do the things that, things that I wouldn't do. Wouldn't do. I'm yes. thinking that she's gonna, probably going to do that. Yes, yes. Yes, because we're a bit early. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alone. Alone. Yes. Exactly. Well, yes. you would do that? You wouldn't do that. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> she says she's aging like fine wine. No, absolutely no doubt about that. So, so am I. Big ups to Andy. Don't say anything. Oh, you get involved in this. It's not your day. I know it's not. I'm not, I'm not taking away her shine. I yes, can't take her shine. No, I'm just, yes, I'm just making a point. She said she's aging like fine wine. So oh, you get and involved. And I'm just saying, in yeah, because what, we November. all are. You're November. You're, 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 you're you Sweet pass, November, correction. You pass and, you know. Sweet November. Whatever November. <laughs> Sweet November. Big ups to my friend Diane, my grounder. Diane, big ups to you. I love you so dearly, girlfriend. Keep keep keeping that real thing about you that you have, yeah? Genuine woman, genuine friend. She wants to meet you when she gets here. She's coming soon. What? So make sure you behave yourself when you meet Diane. I always do. <laughs> I always do. Oh, you're right. Diane, don't be comforted by that. <laughs> I, I'm certain that I won't, behave in, I won't be behaving myself when I meet the one from Atlanta. That's, that's Diane. 
Lisa, me at talk about Lisa, Jesus, oh Lord, whenever oh one call on them, do not mix up people. <laughs> Just keep it straight. Me and oh one of them is at goodness. odds at war. Oh, oh boy. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about your week before we go up to that break. Oh. oh. You know, I'm going to see you know, miss me. Here, what? Say yes or no question, my youth. Uh, Every time you come back here and ask someone if you miss me, you don't miss me. No. I have never yeah, said... Yeah, I'm going to just beg to the after tonight. When the show done. Have I ever said no? Like, directly no? Not really. Okay. But you never say yes affirmatively either. Let me ask you a question. I have you put on my heart. I'm going to have you up tonight. Seriously. When the show me. done? Yes. <laughs> when the show done, I'm going to have you up. Nah, no, like. man. I me, me, me understand this. But let me ask you a question. Right? <clears throat> <clears throat> Who should be more vexed? Right? Me or you? Yes. Me. If you have, you are allowed, right? You are permitted mm -hmm. to do all the things you can do, mm -hmm. right? For six days mm -hmm. and <laughs> 21 hours. Mm -hmm. All the things, six days and 21 hours. Yes. Which means only three hours. Mm-hmm. Belong to you. I never said that. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> and only three hours, you have obligations to... Be with you. One person. Okay. Right? And... Is it hot in here or is it me? Like... <laughs> <laughs> like um, an hour uh -huh. of all that 26 um, days... And um, whatever, 21 hours, 21 hours of anticipation. Mm -hmm. and 20 hours of anticipation. Here, say, boy, not now go and feel tonight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to <laughs> Oh, you would have feel. <laughs> eh? Oh, you would have feel. I know. You don't want stray. I know. Wouldn't yes. you stray? Not necessarily. You wouldn't stray. I'm sure you know because it happened to me already. Well, me have a stray. Where I've been abandoned me and I just had to stay abandoned. Well, me did have a stray. <laughs> Miss Trey, and the people them can't tell you last week, Miss Trey. Aye. Yep. Is that good thing that stars are you straight with? I don't know how to keep it in the family. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Shelly. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly to the rescue. Mad. Um, thank you so much for holding it down. Boy, I may tell you that that, that week was uh, um, a virgin, a virgin, a virgin since evening. Mm -hmm. And tell me, sir. Daddy Road, tell me something. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that woman the last week, she a police. <laughs> Boy, she rough, you know. <laughs> you can't manage she. You might can't manage clear. <laughs> but not that one the last week. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I mean, if you can't manage me, I mean, I know. You don't know? Nothing so. Well, if I can't manage, at least I try and damage. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is now... <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> it is now 9.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. And we have some catching up to do. We'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm Mr. Reggae Ambassador. Hey. 
This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the Collector's Edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. Styles. FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yep. Welcome back to the show, guys. Guys, and big ups to DG Angel. Every time I haven't seen her in a long time. I hope you're good, girl. And of course, we see Vivian locked in in Atlanta. Yeah, Keisha, long time, long time. Gracie, my darling, good to see you. Laverne in St. Mary. And of course, Mama Sadie in York Castle, St. Anne, all locked in. And we will shout out to those other persons who are locked in later on. Well, um, and uh, Yakisha Light, come back. <laughs> you yes. pay the bill. <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not going in there with you, you know. Yakisha. Got Yakisha, a friend. Okay. Then, but a long time when I see him, so I'm going to sit and cut off. Me not agree with you. Me not comment. Go to see you, Yakisha, and I leave you. She's going to tell you. She soon type, hypocrite rude. I call <laughs> in and give it to you. <laughs> but the, um, the, 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 the week was kind of... Okay, it's laid back, you know what I mean? Laid Not back. much because, um, yeah, normally like the first, after the Christmas season, because it's so hectic at mm -hmm. my nine to five, normally the first two weeks in January is a little bit more, you know, laid back. Still, oh. still in recovery mode. Because normally, um, you know, have much, well, you'd expend a certain amount of money. Um, Tell me about it. Yeah, in December. So, you know, you know, I'm going to have you that broke? Me? Yeah. A long time, you know. <laughs> hey, my broke with capital letters. Like, seriously. And well, some exclamation signs. You, you, you know, sign. normally... Oh, my goodness. Normally, government workers get, get paid a little bit early in December. Yes. And as a result of oh that... Oh, my goodness. It affects you in January. Of course. You know, so you don't and know... Early, early about the 18th, we get through. Yeah, In true. December. 18th? No, our Somewhere there, twenty, somewhere there, but loxy doxy. And January is a take time a creep, so that's barely the creep. Oh my goodness. No sir, January it, I go bad. It, 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 I tell you, man, it have a little laid back feeling. Mm, feel laid back something no? true. The month take long for done. And February gonna take long for come. Well, cut finish quickly. Well, All we right, can't, so we can't wait upon that. I can't wait either. Um bless up Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Come on. Hype fans of styles. Okay. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Um, come on, and the crew, they are locked into real talk every time. Big up yourselves over there. In, they're from St. Thomas, no? Yeah, man, they're from St. Thomas. They're hype fans of Styles. Yep. All right, so for you me... You know, yeah, go ahead. For me, the week was very busy. It's always very busy, really. Um, mm -hmm. And dealing with the kids, you're trying to get them ready for the first leg. <laughs> first of the three legs of the PEP examination. Okay. So it's, I'm feeling the 
psychological pressure. A little psychological pressure okay. because you're saying, okay, you want them to, to be able to master this, and you know, you're trying to get the weaker ones, and you're group regrouping them and trying to get pull up the weaker ones, and that kind of thing. So, it's a lot of brain thinking and yeah. analyzing and so on. So, you know, but I got it, I got it, I think I got it. I just hope that the parents, and not just for, for, for my immediate group, but parents out there who have students doing. PEP examinations, right? It's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading. Everything is about reading. All the subject areas will, will require the child to be able to read, understand what they have read, and be able to answer questions, not just at the literal or recall level, but they have to go into higher level thinking abilities and skills. So you want to be practicing them with that, helping them to go through passages and um, being able to find main ideas and things like that, getting them to think and to think critically. It is very, very important. Don't just depend on the teachers alone and the schools. Then we'll, to, have, we'll, uh, on, we'll on. Do not, let me finish, sir, before I punch you. Yeah. Don't depend on the teachers alone, parents, to do this for you and for your children. We have a problem with that. It is not going to be enough. Parents uh, also uh, have a risk responsibility I have a and problem i say it that. unapologetically tonight I after returning to real talk with parents that. have the obligation no. to ensure that they also assist in the learning and the education of their children no with pep <laughs> no with pep no with, pep. with what with what with any other thing, one other how thing do you isolate, that is important how do you isolate? for parents. Listen, is what? Oh, oh, I'm, oh. I'm going to tell you. So, so let me. I'm going to tell you. Go ahead. The most important thing for parents is to make sure that they're picking a school hmm. with f being fully nourished. Are you serious? Yes. Okay, so let me ask you this. Are you then saying that whenever a child comes to school, Yes, All the done. teacher is supposed to do, thank you for answering the question. All the teacher is supposed to do is just focus on just the child, just teaching the child then. Knowledge. So just teach them. Knowledge. No responsible for nothing else. Knowledge. Are you listening to yourself? Yes. That it would speak yes. Lord, where's Joel? Please send me back Joel for a minute, no. Lord. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I have a question for this competent teacher. <laughs> I'm safe. gonna share something very personal with you all tonight. Hypocrite rules, see there? <laughs> I told you it was coming. <laughs> I'm gonna share something personal with you all tonight. <clears throat> there's a there's a um I would wanna say a friend, but to be quite frank with you, I've you can call her someone never meet her before, mm -hmm. right? She's um, like 30, maybe about 33, 34, I put it like that. I've seen her only once, mm -hmm. right? And she's, she has lupus. She's married and her husband left for the United States and didn't return. Mm. They have two kids together. That was after he learned she had lupus or before? After, but okay. I, I, I doubt lupus. I don't know what's, what's the reason why. He left, okay. Right. She's very poor. Mm -hmm. And we all know lupus is a very expensive illness. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> When I learned that she's, she has become so ill because she has her, her son wasn't behaving. The daughter is about, <coughs> say, my daughter's age, maybe about eight, nine. Mm -hmm. So you know that she's doing the same. Right. Right. And she was at that point where doctors said she, she shouldn't be alive because she... Um, she was, what do you call it, something like practically starving. She was eating, but she wasn't digesting. Wow. <coughs> and the doctors pretty much, or the doctor pretty much gave up on her. Mm -hmm. And me, I said, boy, but no, man, this is not right. 
So I took it up on myself on a monthly basis or whenever the, the need arise to purchase all our medication, mm -hmm. right? Which is very expensive. And she wants to do well along with her daughter. Right. <coughs> her fingers can't open. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the bones <coughs> have seized in her wow. fingers. So she used to at least can plot her daughter here to send her daughter to school. Her only reason for living right now is to see her daughter do well. She wants to live. Right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes me not have the money. But just that alone, knowing that she wants to live. And note what I said, you know, I've only seen her once. And when I saw her, she wasn't at this state that she was in. I probably saw her maybe like three, four years ago. And currently, mm -hmm. she's <coughs> not able to assist her daughter. Yes. Now, is with this new format... This new format is the government telling me that it took into consideration all things possible that could happen to an individual that probably, as what, what they're expecting, mm -hmm. parents to assist. Now, this, this is a parent who wants to, but can't. Okay. And, and now, the child, the child... In some instance, I, I don't want to say it, but I think is now falling behind mm -hmm. because, in my opinion, of that expectation. Mm -hmm. And without any apology, I strongly hold it firm just for this one reason. And if it sounds daft, dumb, don't care, or don't, me no care. It should be such that when a child leaves school, he or she is able to continue what he or she has learned in school. Not to go home for them parent and teach them where the teacher is supposed to <coughs> teach them. Right. Because this situation that I have personal experience is does not allow for that. Okay, and let me address that point. Like with everything in life, Daddy Rude, there are exceptions. So had this not been a, a school situation or a parent who might be ill, if, had it not been that situation, like everything else in life, you have exceptions to every rule. Mm -hmm. Now, I do empathize 100% with this particular parent, and, I'm, and I applaud her for the fact that she wants to help, no. but is unable. She wants to live. Yes, and she, she wants to live yes. and would have, would have wanted to be able, I'm sure, to be able to help her child, but she's not able to. So the fact that she wants to live, I applaud her and laud her for that, right? And I do understand that there are some parents who will not be able to assist their children, whether through, because of sickness or just other reasons where they are, they are unable to literally help because of their probably, probably Situation. situations, right? Now, I am not expecting a parent in that situation to be able to do much because she really can't. Right. So with dialogue and intervention mm. and the school being aware of certain things, yes, it is on the... Is, is it in place? Is it in place? I think... I think schools and parents have that communication. I don't think it's the stakeholders who should have that form of dialogue with parents or teachers. I think the schools and the parents and the parents and the school I disagree. should have that level of communication. Let me finish. But I disagree. They should have that level of communication. I have communication with my parents and I know from time to time I have parents who will be calling to say X teacher, Miss Lewis, X, Y, and Z, this is the situation right now, yada, 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 and they'll explain what is happening. This is so her. So with that knowledge, oh, wow. That is her. Wow. That is the first time she has ever been to a specialist. I paid for that. Wow. Must be painful. Is she in pain? 
Well, that is her again. The first time, so she has been going to doctor, right, all this time mm -hmm. and has not been even referred to a specialist, specialist because, in my opinion, again, she has been judged and put in the mind that she should have dead because she's poor. Mm, sad. Look on her really fingers, sad. as I was telling you. How can you s deprive someone of health care because they're poor? That is sad. It's really sad. Right, so... I've always thought that was very, very sad. So... To not give someone the care that they need to survive or to help and them I said, survive. And I said, this is a young girl, 30, little bit. Oh, my goodness. Right? That has uh, affected my whole night. Okay. So, I have no... No. No. no I am going to say... Said, when I say... The, because, listen, it shouldn't have been a case wherein, say, it's going to left to... What, no. we think, what, what we think is socially correct within a school. If we say, okay, this situation exists with, with this particular child, right? And this particular mother. So we are going to take the, 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 um, the next no, step. No, but the point... It, it no, 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 should no, be no, in place. No, yeah, Yes, things should be in place. But what I'm saying to you is, we do have things in place. We have, for example, I know of extra lessons, extra classes. So classes on the weekend, some schools do. Some, some do after school hours, right? But what I'm saying to you is, it is practically impossible with the ratio of students to teachers or teachers to student. It is impossible for one teacher to reach every child in the way they would want to reach that child, especially the slower ones. And you know that in our classrooms, one teacher to 30 are children, 40 are children. It is impossible to reach every one of them one on one on one. You'll never get anything done if you were to do that. And you have different abilities, different style of learner, different learners in your classroom. So you have to try to cater for everybody. So what I'm saying is when a teacher knows that this particular parent is not able to go through in the evenings after school and to... Clear. That particular child. I may hear you, you know, but what I'm saying, clear. Teachers themselves are struggling to teach this particular exam format, right? And teachers have the opportunity to be trained. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Parents don't have that opportunity. A lot of the assignments that are coming home, parents are the first time they must see these things in this format. Mm -hmm. So we are making an ass a, a farce assumption. Right? It's not correct. It's wrong. It's not so much. I, I see where you're going, but I'm also on a different level on some of it. I'm not agreeing with all of it. Because I do think, too, that if parents themselves are unable to help their kids, parents need to first... Dialogue, hold on, you, dialogue with you, the teacher, dialogue with the school. And girl. get the necessary, because what I'm saying is, the eight hours a day hold is on. not enough for a teacher Base, to a, yes, a, a assist 40 odd kids yes, every day. It's what? not possible. Based so you have to do something as a parent. I'm sure you help Momo. I'm sure um, Karen helps Momo. But Samantha, so, but Samantha can't. Yeah, and I'm saying for that one exception, then that teacher ought no, to know. This is, this is one known um, exception because it hits home. And then again, if it is that parents and, and, and um, other, other persons within the family do not relate what really are their situations. It's not about saying, no, nobody know my business. You need to, it's about oh, the child's best interest. So the same way you are somebody else in the family, they need to have dialogue with the, even the class teacher at least and say, miss, how can you assist in getting Tommy to, to, to perform better or to, to grasp, grasp some more? How can you do more, a little tonight, bit more for night. this one particular child or this two particular tonight. child? Because tonight, the, teacher does yeah. not have, hola, 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 the teacher does not have the entire class to attend to in that, at that particular time. So okay. maybe this particular child yeah, can get some yeah. extra tonight help. Tonight is the night when we dance. Good night, caller. Good night, caller. Yeah, man. I am totally in agree with what you are saying. It is the parents' right to see that their children are educated mm -hmm. in the home is the mother and father is the first teacher, not the teacher in the class. Right. Yes. And we the parents must see to it that our children are educated before we send them to school. Okay. And them can count and do them math very good. So so so, so I well I'm thinking that what you're saying basically is the basics then. Some amount of basic 
teaching should at least take place within the home before they even come to, to kindergarten, don't it? Exactly. Yes, because it makes a difference when they get there. It makes a huge difference. Simple. That's how I get my education. That's how I could even have some uh, five subjects now. Okay. Yes. So the parents must take the first stand. Thank you, sir. The children are educated and don't leave it to the teacher. All right. Yeah, you have a good time. You too. I'm Thank you so much here. for calling. Big up, big up, big so, up. So, yeah. as it, as and Daddy Rudy is saying, there's nothing in place for the The exception. Kids. For the exception. Right. All right. So, stakeholders now need to look deeper into that. And I agree with that part of it. I do agree with that part of it. But the part now we are, go picnic, go home. Parents, some parents, don't even as much as say, what did you do today? Come and tell me and teach me something you did today. Now, remember, you know, you know, if you can't read enough, you know, come tell you, say, mommy, I learned that when you add 10 plus 10, you're going to get 20. Come on. Let the child tell you. Let the child sit down and read something for you. Dr. Ben Carson, mother, mother Carson's mother, could not read. And from what I read, every practically every evening, Ben Carson had to take a book, a new book home, and come and sit down and read for his mother, who could not read. She knew not a word that was in that book. Yet he had to read. And it wasn't until long after, years later, he learned that his mom couldn't read. So the point I'm making is if parents make the effort and say, when you come home every evening, I want to see so-and-so and so in the book and I want to hear what you have done. I am sure that Momo knows that on the weekends, maybe a little TV here and there. During the week, no TV. She gets it. When parents set certain, certain standards and certain ground rules, they, 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 must, they must comply with it and do what they should do as parents to ensure that the learning takes Look place. Here, parents want, you. teachers want can't uh, do it. Uh, let me tell you something. Done. You see this, sit down and say, when I make pitney, be what, what, whatever thinkers. When me Critical ban, thinkers? Yeah, when mm -hmm. me ban Moini from TV, you know what Moini do and can't me? Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I say, okay, daddy, I'll do my homework, but I'll watch something educational afterwards. Which is right. The child is smart. Can you not make it? Not teach so it's, it's it's can't Pep is helping out, though. Can. Can, <laughs> can, 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 can. Look here. But, I tell but you. right now, still, you know, in terms of the whole exam format, I mean, I say, it, I think it's, it's going to be more exhaustive than the previous one. Mm -hmm. Right? Actually. And. Actually. And it shouldn't be because we already realized the kind of trauma that kids went through in the previous one. So it shouldn't be just accepted and say, okay, yeah. You know, we're, we're going to train with them to be quote-unquote smarter. For me, know myself, Jamaican picnic smarter than foreign picnic. You know, you hear that? <laughs> so we're not turn in now, some super smart nation. <laughs> well, Are we going to be producing? Well, I don't know. With, with where, what's, with, what's, with, what's, what's the direction? With where they are as it relates to the advancements and so on in, with te in technology. Mm. And where these kids are when they're born and how they grow and the things they get that they, they understand to do where a computer is concerned. I think this pep idea and this 21st century learner is the way forward. I am just having a glitch with the way it was brought in and the, the, the speed at which it, it hit us. Mm. That's my take then on it. Pepper However, it. it's a similar um, what's that word? One big word. Bachelorette. Me, so it's it's me it's a similar. If teach pepper for I don't know if it's the same with same name they have it for it, but I know that there's a performance. Me ask um, a simple question. I don't right? know if it's called pep there, sir. The pit them, the format, the pit them where they are Yes, foreign. it's a similar format, I understand. But if we brighter with, with, with maths, English <laughs> and mental ability, back in the days, common entrance. And I'm saying to you, so the way the quest, some of the questions are structured is not bad. The way it causes them to think you at another level. You realize how foreign pit them feisty? <laughs> and that we are creating. No, it causes them to think at another level, and I welcome Which the other idea. Level at? I welcome. Smart mouth? I welcome the idea. Being and then tell them we can't give them a hand back. Being smart, you have to decide what you going to give your child. Because I know what I would have given my child. <laughs> and back and front and side. Yeah, but that are in the days where we could have given me without any, any <laughs> argument. No, they get smart, but I'm going to call 119 because I want one and a Jamaican on a bad face. I find a foolishness, foolishness but just talk. As, as Andy said, no reinforcement takes place at home. And many, many parents, sad to say, don't do that. 
They think the teacher is supposed to be the one to give everything to the child and they send him to school like cup and saucer, so, not, not saucer and kettle, cup and kettle. Uh, and the lunch, teacher uh, pours, lunch, uh, lunch money the teacher to... pours everything into this child. Right? And they, when they come home, the books stay closed until the next day. And the poor teacher comes back the next day. Let us reiterate what we did yesterday. And we're just reviewing a little bit. And the same picnic that I'm wondering, huh? The mouth open wide and the eye open wide. But, I want to share that about. But, but let me ask you did this concept just yesterday. You Where teach, was the reinforcement you, with the parents? You, 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 teach, you teach LCM and them something in a... Yes. At what grade? I think at the lower grade, but I'm teaching at grade 6 too. I, and I'm sure probably grade four and five um, I've, I've done it. Yes, at me least not, grade four. I'm not thinking of my time they might teach LCM. I'm missing my daughter. Yeah, man, in my time I did LCM. Data, how, how are you there, man? We school you in a grade four? Yes, man. LCM teacher grade four, man. What am I you? Well, I mean, well, Because I like basic maths, you know. LCM and HCF, highest common factor, lowest common, common multiple. multiple. Yes, man. Them something are basic, something, man. Uh, no, no. Me skip grade four. <laughs> Same <be>. thing. You did what? Bright or you dust? You did bright? I would say, let's skip grade two and I think we skip grade uh, four. Ah, your head never so good. Which one? Oh, I go. I'm going to go grade four. I never go grade six. Oh? I'm going to skip grade two. And the bright people skip class, you know? What are you saying? Me, I don't believe that one bit that you were bright. Me, me I say, a common entrance this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that me I say. <laughs> oh, boy. The boy, good no, to me, have I, you. I skip grade two. I went to grade, two, went to grade one in primary school, then I went to grade three. I think I did grade four and grade five, but I know I didn't do grade six. I went from grade five directly to high school. Okay. Um, all right, yeah, before, I, we go, I so, yeah. before we go on the break, yeah, let's well, see. Well, I'm sure about that part. What some of our friends are saying on the text line. Bright Jai, hey, on the text line says, I'm going to pick up my wife. <laughs> Bright Jai, am I right? <laughs> all right, Bright Jai, pick up yourself. Always locked in. To Styles FM. Andy, let's see what oh we read Andy's or oh, let's see what Andy's saying. Um Andy says <laughs> let's see. Andy says, This is so touching, Daddy Road. I wish that girl the best in life. Yes, I do too. Some of the parents don't have the time for their kids. No reinforcement takes place at home. Sad. They don't make the time, but they make time for everything else, many of them. Yeah, and the child or the children that get help from their parents, believe me, their performance is usually very much better. All right, glad to, be, glad to check in. The voice says, I used to be a teacher, and I'm a bright guy, but to go basically study to assist with all my kids' homework is just too much, plus my work. You try to make time here, the voice about too much. So I am... Um, I can't do all them projects. Yeah, man. Over. All, all of them Hold projects. On. I want to talk on, about. Man. Enough people work just don't entail them artistic projects that them keep asking yeah. for. Yeah. Hold on. The boy, I don't like your tone, number one. I mean, and number two. Go meet him. Go meet him. No, if yeah. I see him, I'll give him two claps. <laughs> um, number two, the boy. Your leave child's a, homework leave, is not leave your a homework. Alone. Leave a bridge alone. Parents give children... Teachers give children homework, and for the love of God, we find parents sending their work, come give us. The picnic didn't have a clue what was done, I that. and I don't appreciate it. I that. And what I don't of? think any parent out there, if you want to come to my class and do my project, fine. Come and sit in there and do the project. But do not have a child at home and be taking on the child's project wholly and solely and the and I have no clue. Yeah, when me, it me, me can't when read it come that. back, you see the handwriting? Yeah. I'm like, okay, so who did this project for you? My mother, my sister. Come on, parents. Me, me gonna show come you. on. W w it's now 10 o'clock. I'm going to show you the, the, the project what we do for morning over the weekend. Yeah. It's now 10 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage, Stage and, and Lighting. Lighting. Soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Good 
Hey driver, you notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you, give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious Digital T. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artist and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, man. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth for Potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876 518 2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk Indeed. And of course, Dada Rude and I are here going through some issues and p as it relates to parents and teachers. And I'm saying that, hey, the parents have a great responsibility to Let assist me ask a question. the teachers in the job of teaching their children. Yes, sir. Comparative to the first time teaching them, mm -hmm. how do you rank yourself comparative to them? So say, for example, they are, they are already at 10. Where would you put yourself? They're already at 10? Mm -hmm. At 12. You're crazy. Out of 10? Out of 10. At 12. At 12. Oh, you're asking me to compare which, which, to what which, they did then. Which means that if you're at 12, <laughs> which means that you don't <laughs> exist. <laughs> don't. Talk. That's not the point. You know the expression. My, no, my I don't. point is, I don't. I remember. remember I remember. Tonight, yeah, you're done tonight. Right. I remember when I was in school. Yeah. And yes, a lot of. My chalk girl. and talk. Wait, no man. You can't teach like them to teach other man. Chalk and talk went on. A lot. I remember writing until this part of my finger is sinking with the pencil. Yeah. And you bun you. Yeah. And I did. Funny enough, it was either I was dumb then, like you are now, yeah. or what, but I enjoyed writing back then. Yeah. And we used to write out song in a book, told me full full. Write as well? Song in a book. Michael Button sang, write them out in a book and sing them. Them that when they are bad, my girl. Move on from <laughs> this song. <laughs> Move on. So <laughs> I, I loved writing, but you didn't quite get it the way it's coming across now because what I do, I hardly ever put that notes thing on my board doesn't happen. No. You did don't stand then, man. No, man, no. I didn't put any, I don't put any note, this long notes thing on my board to, no, that's not working out. That's not, I have a whiteboard. 
even though it won't replace now, it's like break up. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I, I don't put this thing on the board. I give them the worksheets. We have an interactive teaching learning process. It's very, very interactive. Yeah, then I saw the old time days. No. By the way, no. but all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. She just put notes on the board and gone, leave, you must write it off and understand it and, and, and she come and she will explain something, yes? But you have to read through the notes and understand what it has say. It happened back then that way for many, many um, students and for, with teachers. And I'm, and I'm, I'm not saying it's not happening now for some, you know. I'm saying for me, I am not do of you, that orientation. Do you realize that the generation now that is running, we are run the place, mm -hmm. you know, the you, the me, the Cassidy, mm -hmm. right? A common entrance brain them, yeah? I'm not saying no. Eh? So we just... But we, we've also learned over the years too. We've learned a lot over the years after, after common entrance, haven't we? Common entrance is a foundation so you can learn over the years. <laughs> and I, I'm not saying no. Eh. So I'm saying to you... So we are going with your pian, pian, pian. No, no, no. Where they are now, where I am now, mm. in comparison... And I'm not saying that I didn't have great teachers, don't get me wrong, because My where girl, I am, a, a, product, a product of that... I'm not saying no, you but know, what I'm right, saying is I think the approach that I have taken yeah. is different from theirs. And do, I think you, do you have kids that give trouble in your class? You call it trouble. Smart, yeah. mode, rude, not pay attention, chatty, chatty. Yeah, hey man, I, I, you're going always, because I used to be do, one of those in class. Now, how do you deal class. with them? Let me know how I deal with them. How you deal with them? Them, them bad people there. How you get them in line? Sometimes I look, does it? A look. Just a look. All right. Sometimes. Do you know how to stay at the front of the class, sitting behind your desk, and throw the duster, right, around kids and hit the one at the second to last table to the right? <laughs> that will really leave me alone. You know how to do that? I'm not supposed to. Do you know how? That's, a, that's, that's not the question. Do you know <laughs> how to do that? If I were to do it, I would know how to do it, yes? Because I, I have very good hands. That's not the question I asked. I you. answered your question, you sir. You said if. Because I'm not allowed to. I'm not you supposed know to. How, do you know and how I'm to do it? And I'm not. I would. No, no, no. At present day. But I haven't been practicing that, so I, 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 I would have lost touch. So, oh, so you used to do it? After eight, it's before 18 years um, ago, they took out. After 18 years, within 18 years, they took out corporal punishment. Listen. I don't think it was before the 18 years. Listen. It is evident that, that you don't know how to do that, so you cannot be a 10. So you... <laughs> you can't be a 10. To throw the duster and is what? a part of it. And to go... That was, that was back right? then. That's why your head stays right now. Do you... Yes. <laughs> do you know... Do you know how uh, to use that belt, which is about a half-inch thick leather belt? Mm -hmm. Right? I felt it. Okay. But I don't know how to use it. All right. So now you can't be a nine. Because I am not going to go to prison because you want me to be a ten or a nine by using no duster and no leather belt. Because I can tell you, it's going to land me in prison and then you going to come visit me. Boy, clear star. I never know, sister. <laughs> you know, Do you know. know? So I'm not even going to go there with you. Do you know how for run a school where... The kids them go in one direction, walk on one side of the at, 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 at the corridor, and walk in the other direction, walk on the other side of the corridor. Do you know? I do. Have you ever done it? Tried it, yes. And did it work for how long? For a short time. Okay. This is a generation so, so of vibrant you can't now. That's get what they an eight. <laughs> You're gonna go down to reach one, right? <laughs> so so <laughs> it'll go. You right. know what? But, but with, with the out of order, it's about 12. I, I'm a 12. I'm right? A 12. So, I, listen. I, 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 I'll say, for example, don't do X. And I think back then our teachers, for the most part, would have to be speaking to the class. I give a child a look, and they know exactly what I'm saying without any words spoken. So I'm at a 12. I'm sorry. I'm at a 12. Do you look on kids and say to kids, you're a big like? No. You're not a seven. <laughs> You're right, I'm a 12. Because again, I can look at them and they know exactly what I'm saying without a word being spoken. That's important. Do you know how to get kids? 
Who battered this poor child when he was growing up, Lord? Who battered you? <laughs> <laughs> and gave you all those pain and punishment. You, you can so vividly remember right now, um, 40 odd years later. You know I have a question for you. I have a very important question well, for you. Well, we go to that right. question. The Vox Pop of last week asked, Would you console your partner if he in your case, is saddened by a tragedy affecting his, in your case, ex-lover. What kind of tragedy, sir? Just be in, imagine. Just just use your modern day I would be imagination. Em I would be empathetic mm -hmm. on the one go. Yes. If he comes and he expresses that, you know, um, so and so had, uh, she's ill, mm -hmm. or you know, and. I definitely would be very saddened because sickness never make for dog, they say. Mm -hmm. So it can happen to anybody. So I wouldn't rejoice in someone's downfall. So no. Hold on. However, Lord. there is a however. <laughs> Every single God Almighty day, he comes. Here comes the part when she get liquid the chart duster. For weeks upon weeks upon weeks. In this, I'm moan and I'm moan and I'm moan and I'm groan and I'm groan. We get nothing done. <laughs> we do nothing together. We mm. go nowhere. Yes. Yeah? And all he talks about every day in and day out. I think you have been too imaginative. No, no, no. I, I got to be. This man is very, very active. I can tell you that. Mm. So if that's the case, then it becomes somewhat of a sore issue for me. Because then you're now allowing the situation to seriously affect us. What? And I do think it's okay to mourn and it's okay to feel saddened by someone else's sickness or whatever. But if it is that her distant, distant cousin who she never even knew, really, you know, something bad happened or whatever and you learned of it and probably not even you no learn, no know the person. But then you learn that boy, you know, say, Susie... Cousin, Susie, um, uncle, brother, Pinkney, whatever. Uh -huh. um, something happened so to them. Active. Lord have mercy. And she come complaining to you about it. This and you just in really into her and wrapped up into her story. And you're all up into her every day, every day. I, I got a problem with that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But, all right, let's make it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you're gone... You know, a world a while ago. That's beyond my common entrance mind. Right, because this is pep time, son. <laughs> yes, yes. This is pep. No, me don't. <laughs> no. Here are the things set. You, daddy, lie down I prepare yourself for certain things and bomb phone ring. Mm hmm Right away, see face drop. Mm-hmm. I want you to know right. what happened. Phone hang up and boss say, boy, mom, you know, say, I'm not advised to, to, to do that thing at the night, see, because you don't know, say, boy, I'm just got a phone call, say, um, Andrew with a good, good day, when we used to talk to her, she's in the hospital, and I'm going to go look for her right now. You must be mad to hell. <laughs> Andrew with a good, good. I mean, I think Andrew good, good, me, all that good, good, you know. But anyways, <laughs> so, <laughs> Something is wrong. <laughs> so, eh? Something is wrong with Andrine. She's in the no, hospital. No, 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 no. Yeah, you have to use our full name. No, man. Mm -mm. No, I'm call, it. Me me good, good. call it. Sorry, I'm not going to call it. <laughs> because I know about one good good, I know about that good good. <laughs> so, if it is that the person is ill, and you're going to stop what me you have going on with at the moment, yeah. you're going to stop it all together because. Andrine might be in the hospital. Not just Andrine. She might be in the hospital. <laughs> well, you're I mean, I know if uh, after visiting us, <laughs> because what I know and understand is only spouse are allowed probably beyond visiting hours in, in some hospitals. Mm. And outside of visiting hours, we're going to think in a pepper, I mean, a pepper, no, sir, I think critically and think about, <laughs> yeah? So, the, Opening hours for the hospital for your visit is not just straight along, along, so, yeah? Uh, between a certain time and a certain time. So which part are you going to get up now? Leave me in the bed with unfinished, unresolved 
<laughs> tension. It's your tension and yes, pain. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and when get up to go wherever, whether a hospital or up our house, to visit her. No, Andrew Are you Whitney? seriously telling me that, yes, you learned of something happening to Andrean. Yes. But is it a case where you're telling me you cannot wait until the morning after you settle this score with me, mm. which is very, very important because a long time me I wait. <laughs> eh? And you want to leave me there all burning up, as Osha says, mm. and to go run Go look. No, man. No, man. And guess what? Get your things in what, order. Guess what really Prioritize to, now. Seriously. Guess what happened to Andre now? I'll burn him on his leg. Can you imagine? Andre with the good, good. Ah, uh, there's something there now. On a very serious note, I would have serious. a. Ladies out there, I know you agree it with just, me. You have a problem with up. that because <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> me forget up and say, "Oh my goodness, Tim! Oh God, you well? I can't <laughs> get on tonight because we just hear some bad news about Tim. <laughs> Tim, up and oh sick. Not it, Tim. Oh, <laughs> Tim with the good, good. <laughs> Same name. Tim with the good, good. <laughs> Granana, Tim. <laughs> Yes, oh. and him up a yard and him sick and him want me to come, come assist him. Mm. And you got to tell me, say, we must get up and leave you. Now, you know what there are exceptions you, still, you know. You know what I got to tell you? There are certain exceptions, but... You know what I got to tell you with him? Mm-hmm. I got to say, eh. When you go and I'll come back. No, I got to say, eh. I must say, plastic illegal. Can I plastic bag and just put it over your head? <laughs> yes. Do that with Tim. He will get better. Oh, Jesus. Let's, <laughs> let's see what uh, the text line is saying. Good night, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo. Debbie from Johnson Mountain. Hey, how are you? And she haven't checked in in a while, but I guess she's in tonight. Good to have you back. Look up yourself, Debbie. Yes, Debbie. And I also noticed another person texting earlier. Um, who was it? Uh, Lady Cleo, don't let him dry out. Yes, Kevin, Kevin. I won't, Kevin. I won't. Good night. What if I'm a parent who come late, late at night but have to take papers from my workplace? Aye. I think the government should make it easy for the teachers so they can teach their students and they don't have to send home, send homework to parents. Some of these work... Poor parents don't understand. Some parents can't read. Um, yeah. Truth to what you're saying there, um, my texter, I didn't get that name. Um, however, I'm to your aunt. I don't know. I think I probably slept, but it's really aching. The, the shoulder here is awful. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yes, I understand that there are parents who do come in late. And that's a fact. That's a reality. And their job demands that. So I know your hands are probably tied. Um, well, as she said, the, parent, the government should make it easier for teachers to be able to teach and deal with the kids at school. Well, ouch. Uh, so much needs to be done. So much needs me to be done. You know the solution to all of this. All school must be boarding school. Huh. Well, not, I, not wouldn't come teach, I wouldn't be teaching there. Right. Lady Cleo, don't let him draw you out. I want Kevin, my good friend here in uh, Tampa. Big ups to you, Kevin. Um, all right. So pretty much we're going to jump, in jump out pop. of our chit-chat opening session there and go into our Vox Pop for tonight. Yep. And the Vox Pop says... It's a known fact that things aren't easy to come nowadays. <laughs> well, for some people it is. <laughs> Don't think women... Do you think hmm. women are a bit too yes. ambitious when it comes to their financial expectations and other support from men? Yeah, yeah. Should a man's financial strength be a factor of his status in the house? Would you cheat for financial gains or other benefits? Hmm. Hmm. You ask one or two rhetorical questions. I won't say which ones are rhetorical, but... No! One or two up there might be rhetorical. No! So, do you think women 
are a bit too ambitious when it comes to their financial expectations. Hmm. In the same way that men are so bill, bill, ambitious bill. That's a, that's for a what it is that they want when it comes down to their nookies, I think in the very <laughs> same way women yes. ought to be this way we can't ambitious. Out, yes, this way we can't live out <laughs> In the same way women are going to be ambitious of their expectations because, Dan Dan, yes, I know you're listening and you soon call me. There are men out there who have oh, and then certain then call, expectations <laughs> of their women. Yes, we expect you for not begging me. And I don't see why it is that if a man has all these demands and expectations, despite them being different from what the ones that the women have, the point is they are expectations. They are ambitious expectations. So whatever the woman decides to be her ambitious expectation, then she ought to have her own. And if financial is the way to go, which probably... Hmm. Mm, why is it then being questioned if women are too ambitious when it comes down to financial expectations? For one and all, ladies, more it's more always more good to be self-reliant and yes. self-sufficient yes but don't get me wrong if the man brings in an additional portion to add to what you have gained for yourself it's all good it's all good ladies we accept it it should be a given it should be a given yes we have more things to do than you guys really do most of you yeah which is what Duh. Uh, I mean, anyways, <laughs> but we do have things to do. I mean, I'm not saying men don't have things to do, don't get me wrong, but ladies do have need right, but listen. for financial yes, assistance. Yes, 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 yes. But remember, you know, it didn't say that women must not expect sir, have certain expectations. It says if they are too ambitious. No, the because, more the merrier. Uh, uh, are listen. you saying if you, if you can come home, you will, and say... Karen, yeah. This out of the bonus is yours. No. This extra. No. This extra hundred no. pack out of the bonus is yours. No. As opposed to if you come no. and you're gonna give her twenty. If you can give her the fifty, the sixty, or the eighty, or the hundred, why you can give her twenty? It's not her bonus. I work for that. How me take my bonus and give she? You need to give her some, not all of it. All of the bonus? Yes. No. If you get extra yeah, right, well on, well on. Give her at least well, a well on. quarter or a half. Yeah, but what me a gear if you do? Because she has needs. What the reason me a gear? She has needs and there are financial no, but, needs. No, but no, man. But she not has survived already without, 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 my, without my little bonus when have me you work ever, so hard for. When you oh. have one nookie. And you're working with the one nookie. Mm. When more nookies, and this is for you too, Cassidy. <laughs> when more nookies come your way, free and logo logo, holy, mm. aren't you gonna take it, Cassidy? It's a question, Cassidy. Yes or no? <laughs> and it's silent like means. Alone. It's silent mean yes, because <laughs> if he has something great and he gets more on top of it. He's going to find space to put the more and to deal with the more. So you're saying to me, when a woman gets some money, her own money then, and she has that money, no, and if you come and give her some more, no, but oh my on. goodness, hold you make on. her day. Fine, but listen, that, that, that is if you have it. But there are, there are situations out there where a bridging just don't have it because remember the sitting said time hard, you know. Things not easy for come So I'm find it for the no. next woman on a road. I'm find it where I'm never having to figure you, you know. Mm. Ladies, I'm never having to give you. But then I'm find another woman out on a road and I can't find it figure she. Because the impression is there to impress she. And I want to give her the whole idea that he's all uh, that and a bag of chips. So I'm going to pull up the same pocket when I'm money in her. And they look deeper and find money to do things and to, to give to the other new girl out of the road. Because, Why not? Because you want an answer for that? Because he is too ambitious with his no, expectations. No, of the no, 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 no. Because of Andrine with the good, good. So, so the one I yard is bad, bad. What are you saying? 
Watch it, you know. Watch it. <laughs> what I had, yeah, can't go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, you hear this now? So, I know why them expect, say. If it is that you're going to give us more on top of what we have, we will take it. No, but listen, no. If a man... Because guess what? All I know the same money going to come back around to you. If, if he's a good woman in at all, the same not, money going to well, come back around and come no, help well, you. No, 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 listen. In some, due time. Some women have this expectation that at times the man just cannot fulfill. And them know very well so the man thing not up there like that. Right? And them still want it and expect to get it. And you know, but there. if it's not there, then it's a whole say, different thing. But come on, man. Let me tell you what you are going to say, boy. No. Well, I'm not. Well, on. You know the story where I go on, where I circle it right now with the man who own um, Amazon, the richest man of the world. He mm-hmm. might get divorced and the woman get $69 billion. How much you have? Multiply well, that well, by two. Okay. $69 billion. What's wrong with that? Right? The woman that divorce him, $69 billion. What's wrong with that? She she, is she too ambitious when he's got it? Look here. And she I, would I, have been entitled. You, yes, the law says yes, she... You know what cost him that? Andrean with the good okay. good. <laughs> Serve him right. Andrean with the good good. Me done cost a man $69 billion. That's all good. good oh, good, Lord, right? have mercy. And I'm Pan sure she, Andrean would not see that $69. I must say, I, even a quarter of that. I, I, must say, I, must say, I must say 30 year now or 30 a year them differ. I know the woman I left him and because of a little bun. That's called acrimony, honey. Because of a little bun, Cass. A little bun? Yeah. little bun. She's wicked, man. Oh. What do you think about that? You're not thinking wicked. To He's too ambitious. You're not thinking, <laughs> thinking wicked to himself. Even more. <laughs> Him no yeah. say. He might have a wife for 30 yes. years. I'm going to take a little something where I can give you a little momentary pleasure. I'm going to something. No, I look like a real... Serve him a right. A real bunny man I get out of the road, man. Serve him right. And, boy, I don't know what I'm Feel the feeble. Deal with it. Hold that. I feel the feeble. Not like no. 69 billion he's dollars. He's got it. Well, I know. He's Kassel, got it. She's now one of the world's richest women all because of Fiara. And, and, and you, you know what happened? Fiara. You know what happened? The chances are it's not even so much the bun which, 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 where, where, where him Nothing. get. It's probably how it is that... The expose or it expose. Yes, for one. And two, things he never did with the wife. And things he probably, probably never gave the wife. This other chick. But well, guess what, no, no? Is getting it. Me now hear arguments says a man wife, in friend wife. Oh, Jesus. She over ambitious, Mansa Musa says. Hmm. Well, is that she knows the judge decide, I think. The judge decide. Well, half half. In, yeah. a, in a court, in, in court settlement. But me, I wonder if now she has her own half of Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> She him can get the armor. And into the design. Well, he has gotten the armor. Mm. Yeah. But, and but but I I strongly believe that some of the times women can go easy. I think so too. Yeah, to an extent. Some yeah, women. Go, go easy, you know. You know, say a man, say, say for example, is a maybe a bar or a DJ or whatever it is. DJs? Know? Excuse me? I'm not talking artists, I'm talking juggling. Oh yeah? Mm. They make some dough. Money pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Money pull up. Even a jungle good at the night, they know, dog, they have your supper. 10.30, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893 
DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited, your home for the widest selection of building materials and hardware supplies in Portland. Shop everything from plumbing to electrical to home decor. Find unbelievable prices on tiles, toilets, basins, faucets, shower enclosures, vanity sets, doors, windows, lumbers, and much more. Get up to 25% off at DIB Hardware the last Friday and Saturday of every month with their mega month in sale. Visit any three locations in Portland, Buff Bay, St. Margaret's Bay, and Port Antonio. Call 993-4415. DIB Hardware, your foundation starts with us. Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the illest present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour. Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 12 midnight, you just gotta tune in. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, and in case you're just joining us, we are discussing whether it is that women are too ambitious as it relates to their financial and, expectations. And to all those persons who are late, go and stand in the corner <laughs> and recite your name. <laughs> tell, you, tell you what, I'm going to recite the Vox Pop. <laughs> Do you think women are a bit too ambitious when it comes to their financial expectations and other support from men? Um, should a man's financial strength be a factor of his status in the house? Would you cheat for financial gains or other benefits? And All none right. of those last two are rhetorical. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, big ups to Vincent. He's over there in New York, locked in. Big, big ups. up yourself. All right. Um, so I don't think well, some women, I think, yes, can be a little bit over ambitious based on the fact that they are not realistic in in the fa in the sense where they know what the man an idea what the man earns, they have an idea what he earns, but they become a little bit selfish sometimes. Do you think and the, expect more than what he can probably offer? Do you think it is a good thing to share what your salary is? Why oh, you even know that? Okay, we are. If it no, if it comes up, mm. or if you happen to see my pay stub, yeah, fine. That's a different thing. Yeah, but you think so? Because I, I don't go around like be hiding it, yeah. Mm. And if you see it, we have some men, you know, some women with them that dog name is up, you know. Then not that matter about. But I don't think I'm gonna come out and say, oh, you know, I earn this every month. I, I don't think that's necessary, honestly. And I'm not gonna ask him. So um, so tell me How something. Much How much you make? How much you make a month? I'm not gonna do that. But if we're discussing something and it happens to come up that, you know that, I noticed that last month, it is actually on the, on the slip. But this month, so and so and so. Yes. That's different. Yeah, so not, not needless to say. But I'm expecting that whatever you get, though, I'll get a little bit out of it. For what? <laughs> I'm not too ambitious, though. No, but for what? Because I have expectations and, and financial expectations. No, but hold on, Cleo. Hold on. <laughs> All right. All right. Put it this way. If well, you give me, a, give me, I'm going to take it. If you not give me a song. 
All right. Sure, man. Thank you very much. But, but I prefer you give me still. I'm not going lie. So, so <laughs> because no, we no, no, we can agree. We can agree. If, 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 if you don't get it, also, no need, hard feelings. If I'm in Listen. need of some help and you can help, I'd appreciate yes, it. But yes. But I'm not going to come and pressure you and ask you. Fine. And you know, but expect- I'm gonna feel so because I'm earn, earn my own. Of I mean, course, I need no help. Me need more because no. there's always things to do. No, but you don't survive how much of years without it anyway. So what's 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 the merely big survive? If you can assist a, a fallen soldier, help man. No, but you're not, John. You're not there. Call her on, call her on the four five three. Good night, caller. Good night, Dad. Oh, can hardly hear you, caller. Huh? Can hardly hear you. You're very very low. One up. Okay, I'm a tell me lower. I'm here when you're clear. Okay, go ahead, sir. Is that the road? You. No matter how much money I give them, they woman them. They Eno- like a bunny. Eno- enough. That's not true, yeah. sir. It's not woman money, never enough yet. Never enough. Sir? Right? Sir? How you give them? Call her, darling. Call again? Are you telling me? That a woman will just go and bond the man because he doesn't yes. give her enough money? Yes. You're making a general statement, and that is not true. There are women out there who can satisfy what their men give them. There are others who can't satisfy. Not every woman will get the money from the man, no matter how small, no matter how big. Not every woman will go out there and burn him because the money is small or large. That's not true, sir. I wouldn't give them enough. They still have a bond. No, sir. And all when you give him good by your head, top him, still go and burn you, right? That is true. Okay, fair enough. That is all man. That is all man stay. And the men are stay the same way. So why the man must give the woman half a bonus? Uh, why not, sir? Not at all. Why not? Hold on, before you go to the bonus, answer my question. I'm asking you, when the woman give it all up, even her head top, doesn't the man go out there and still give bun? Because something sharp. <laughs> so, you know, Fee said, you know, something shot while she leave, too. Fee said, you know, shot while she leave. Oh, God. Hey, Carla? Well, I want to call. Carla, Carla, tap the line. <laughs> it can't tell us still can't do nothing. Oh, so something still short. <laughs> so I'm asking you, don't you think that something is short Why she have to go out there, too, if that be the case? No, I want to give them your ad. Them still are out there. So when you give, when a woman give a man her all, you know, always go out there the same way to that, may I ask you? No woman I give the money out. Call you too biased, yeah, man. I can't manage you. You're too biased. <laughs> You're biased bad. Me you agree know, with you here, sir. And no man not give a woman they all either. No man give them peace, but I give them no life. Because they might, they might come and sit up. I hear you, sir. Thank you, sir. I you speak, speak from you know. you you experience. Huh? Yeah, speak from your experience alone. No, but we know I go on our own. I hear you, sir. You're in the wrong circle then. Because no. all women are like that. No, man. Be not just not a woman. You tell them cash. <laughs> Same here. Same here. We not just one woman cannot be satisfied. When they come on to financial, they can't satisfy. And you still love us though, right? We can't do, we can't do without, you know? Well, good to know. <laughs> Very good to know. That's all we need to know. Right? Well, we can't do without them. Other man can't do without them. We can't do without them. All right, sir. So, well, let's give her what you can give her. I'm actually satisfied. What do you know satisfied? Give her what you can give her still. <laughs> and all the best to you. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> Big up, Saint Thomas. In bias, bad, 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 bad. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's 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 <laughs> let's go back to something short. Can you imagine what can be shorter than some men? Literally. Um, Lisa in Atlanta, Georgia says, "Hey, Lisa. <laughs> uh, my, my name, name is, is Mon- Mi- Lisa Monti." Mon- yeah. Tig Montague Montague Okay Is that spell? <laughs> yeah so, so she's in the corner Saying her name Oh Jesus <laughs> Good girl Come on, come back and sit At the front of the class oh, now That's Q right there Oh Lord Jesus Q Come to the front of the class <laughs> Come to like the front of the class Montague. These men are so ungrateful Grateful How? Yeah. You are In what way? Many of you are in what way? Many of you are. 
Why are you so ungrateful? I wouldn't begin to finish on the radio if I should start. <laughs> women need, let's see what this one says. Women need more money because she has more responsibilities. No. And that is often very true. Lisa says, well, if the women are a problem to you men, then go and look. Man, then. Lisa. Brr. Right away, Cassidy, bring it back to the box, mom. Quick, 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 quick. quick. <laughs> go back. Lisa, go Lisa, back. go back in the naughty corner. Yes. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Should a man's... Well, oh the, the other part Cassidy, says... You don't say you should, lock, you should lock a classroom door, though. Block him. Uh, <laughs> block him, Cassidy. Do you, <laughs> do you think women are a bit too ambitious? You traumatize my brain. <laughs> Lord have mercy. When it comes to their financial expectations and other support from men. Other support from men, I really don't think women are too ambitious. It's sad to say that some women don't get as much other support from men as they should. Men just probably feel that okay some of them should come in and just probably give her a change or give her a money towards whatever and that's it and some men don't give anything at all yeah and sad to say that some men don't even realize that a woman needs so much more than just financial help and sexual gratification women need a lot more women need moral support women need to feel important to feel special to feel appreciated to feel respected and to be respected so if it is that <laughs> all he thinks yes. you can laugh all you want yes if, that sounds if, that, that, if, that so if, like if oh. you think that all a woman needs be quiet i'm traumatized go in the corner, go in the corner. <laughs> if going. you think that all <laughs> yes go over there and call your name Please say you will, though. Hey, hey, <laughs> if, if you men think that all a woman need is some sex or, as you said, just the money, there are a lot of women out there who have them own money. Yeah, on a very serious note now. If we get the assistance and the extra help, we'll take it. But there are women who can suffice on their own with their own cash. They, they work, they hard, earn money. Right. And there are others too who don't want nothing from the man either. Yes, thank God So what them. I'm saying is, men need to understand that when the statement says, other support, women need a man who is holistic. Yeah, a holistic man who can... Be that's there. too much. No, man. Uno too deficient. That's, that's too much. Some of the men too the, deficient. Yes, then accept us with, with our deficiency and don't and, expect nothing more than deficiency accept, from we. And accept the women with all our ambitious expectations. Because as Lisa said, you can't do it do without us. No, but look here. You if, can't do without here, us. If you know some you can't spell bulla, what you expect if you spell mosquito for? <laughs> 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 Serious. What kind of expectation is that? No. You see, I'm saying, for those women who are, know what the man can manage and expecting more, something wrong with you differently still. But there are men who do men know that they can manage this particular thing. They can afford this. And they're not doing it. But then they go to the rum bar and they, they spend it off on the liquor. You know I've what? heard, hold on, I heard yes. a woman say to me once, I was asking her, I was doing a vox pop on the road, and I remember that woman saying to me in Port Antonio, Boy, miss, the man of my yard, but the worst thing I live with. And I asked her why. And she said, Him have a woman in my face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And the money, the children that they have together, he gives her nothing as it relates to buying, because he's hardly ever there with mm. her and the kids. Can't and agree hardly with him. give anything. And Can't he's giving the other him. one to the other one, can, can be calling her, telling her, Hosted and cold fat about what the man doing for she and not doing for the other one. And Can't it's pathetic. Agree with him. Can't agree with him. So you find that there are some men who they, they pretend as if they don't have much. But yet they find it to do other things with other women out there. And it Listen, is bad. I, Worse when kids are involved. My last my last point on this. I just I just think that in general, women have a fancy um a, fan a fancy and a fantasy way of thinking and want to live that way. And then expect 
us as men to, feel, to fulfill that. And it is unreasonable. Let's get back to reality. Oh, please. Hold on, hold on. The real, hold there on. are men out there who are caring and nurturing. The, the, the reality is, the reality is, what, and only live for what, sex. what a thousand dollars could do for me in 2012, it can't do the same for me. My, my salary hasn't increased or increased much, but your nails has increased so much, probably even beyond my salary. I do so my own ex, nails So now still. expect forget your nail them again. I do right? my own nails still. Your head, <laughs> your head own part, head in a, it would be a thousand dollars, I could have broke off a piece of that and give you two hundred dollars to your head. In a 2012, no, in a 2019, I make 1,100, but your head price gone up by $500. So, no expect no head money again. So, you try to trim me, I've got borrow because it cost me, if you got stain, if you stain, trim me for four bills. I'm thinking of going natural, by the way. Right? So, good choice. So, right away, you have to know, say, look at a man, things are, we are suffer, so nobody expects certain things no more. I just saw the thing set and work with, and, and if, what if, if what is provided is not enough, move right along. You know, there are men who have no problem giving their women half of their bonus, Mr. St. Thomas. There are men out there who have no problem giving their ladies a part of their bonus, whether half, quarter, whatever. There are men out there who go to work, whether overseas or locally, and they bring their money home and they say, Mommy, just... Get what you need to get. Here, darling. Get what you need to get. There are men out there who do these things, you know. And there are a lot of mad men out there. <laughs> who don't do these things. <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Women are precious, are a precious gem, Lisa says. Who I'm you want, can, who, you, who your men can't do without. And can I tell you, they only show up and carry on that they, like they can and they really, really can't. So what I expect them to do is just... Sit down and just squat and go and bill and I realize say, the reality is you really can't do without us. For those of you who are not <clears throat> men. You see, I'm not going to break up the answers this week on that statement. I'm going to leave it alone. You should. It serves you right. Yeah, tempt me. Yes, I am. Yeah, beat me up. Like, that's right. Man, I press button. <laughs> <laughs> the other part, let's, oh, let's hear, before we go to the Vox Pop, um, let, big up to Lynette as well. Big up to you, Lynette. Let's go back to the Vox Pop, Cassidy. Um, should a man's financial strength be a factor of his status in the house? I mm -hmm. don't think so. One bit. But, no. you, but you know, some woman feels that oh, you yeah. the man have money in an attack. But that should not be. I would expect that a man's place and the way he, his status is, is observed yeah. is by how he respects you as a woman how he deals with the home. So the liquid women even have, yeah, how he deals with the, the, the needs and the necessity of his family. That's important. Hello, caller. Good night. Hello. Is that okay? Yeah, clear. Yes, caller. You, you, woman, um, woman want too much to look okay. Women want what? Eh. You want to look at okay, you don't want to drain out, drain out the man. No, man, you give what you can give, man. Come on, man. Yes. But you're not satisfied? I'm not going to start for your lock shop. You're going to start lock shop? No, you want to start yeah. for your lock shop. You're going to start for your lock shop, too. Oh, why is that? Because you just can't satisfy with what the man have. I don't think so, sir. You're making a general statement. Not all of us. Some of us can do with what the man can give. Some of us have been doing without what the man not yes. giving. Those women now, you see, who will satisfy with the man? Then the woman is not there again. A lie, you are tell. Then the woman is there that exists no Me more. says lie, you're telling because I'm one of those women who can satisfy with whatever I get. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool. laugh. You laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, hold on, call her. Let me ask you this, St. Thomas. Let me ask Clear. you this. Yeah. Yeah. Where you take me and work for? Hold expensive. on. Where you take me and work for? Right now. A problem in our Why you life. think I work? You think I only work because what? I can help myself, you know. I don't need you to say, oh, she need this and she need that. I have to go give it, get it to give her. I can help myself. Yes. So whatever little chupans in going come with. See, I miss what, feel stress. Whatever little chupans in going come with, it's just a little addition and a little assistance. So me can't expect him to go rob bank to give me. 
No. So when you behave as if a woman can't satisfy, really and truly, the average woman out there, they work. There are working class women who can help themselves and who have been doing so for years, sir. But with a bank phone of money um, uh, and drain out the man who won. Uh, drain out? Aye. I'm not one of those drainers. I'm sorry. I'm no drainer. I'm sorry. With a bank phone of one and drain out the man who won. That's all, that is all 90% of the women Darling, you have been picking up... Real thing, real you thing, real thing, real thing, real thing. You have been picking up the wrong women. I'm sorry for you. Real thing. You have found the wrong women who will drain out your pocket. Not I all women... I found for them, Tanya, St. Thomas. Not Sentamas. all women stay so. St. Thomas, talk and have change, the water in your mouth. Change your choice of selection and try something different than see how it goes. From me, give her what she forget. What me have is my word. I need to get none out of that. That we are talking about. That's your you choice. Oh, look here, a woman must take care of you now. Right? Don't have me wrong. A woman must be treated as a woman. Right. Don't expect too much out of the man. Right. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you, Carla, is not everybody is like that. So maybe you have had some bad experiences where you're picking up or getting involved with the girls who want to wring your pocket dry. But a woman can't wring my pocket dry. All right, Carla. I give her what she to get. <laughs> All right, sir. I respect St. Thomas. <laughs> All right. If it says, Uno man think Uno sex is all that matter. True, true, true. That's why me respect the maker of Dildo. Whoa. <laughs> That's what she says. <laughs> you know, it's sad to say, Yvette, that many men for true believe that because they're, they're sexually endowed. Yes, that all the woman want is just them sexual prowess. No, and I say go. Because there comes a time in your life when you just say, look here now, we just tired of this. Yes, the pleasures of it will, will, are good, but you just sometimes you just say, me tired of this, I didn't, look here now, look how me out here, man. You just tired sometimes, and you reach that place where you just tired sometimes. And when there is no sex, which is for like, a few minutes within any day <laughs> after the sex done what's next if there's nothing left come on man sex isn't all and the men who think it's all that a woman needs or some women need is to stop and wake up just wake up and that's not all the women need and it's not only money the women need either they they want the money and if we get it we will take it but that's not all we need either please not all of us at least all right, some of them sex can't even, even make it. you feel. Oh my goodness, if it says some of them sex can't even make you feel good. Mm -mm. Then short, <laughs> as the caller said earlier, something is short. Something short, <laughs> whether literally or figuratively. <laughs> my advice to all men: never sell your manhood for vanity, huh? <laughs> what Kevin said. <laughs> All right, then teach them clear. Gracie, big up yourself. All right, we are going to see what Mansa is texting away. Um, let's see what the Vox Pop ideas are tonight. Yes, in these nowadays women, we, yes, we are ambitious because guess what? We, don't, we are not the woman these days sitting around waiting on the man to put things on our table. We're going out there fending for ourselves so you know we are ambitious yes maybe the uh, maybe ambitious yes the adjective yes you want to use to describe it but i think more to me a lot of men these days want a woman where in a certain category of work area right now they don't want to know who my, okay then we be with you because you are work this and whoop you move they, they find the next woman move to a, a, a bigger profession and that is the woman they're going for so we have to keep our standard and make sure say yes we in a certain category and be ambitious because guess what these men nowadays <coughs> The woman more on them, and I saw they run from here, so I run this. So, so me believe say yes. But for me, the real thing is a man supposed to be the head 
in the financial support in the household. It's not a woman's job. From the one and back then it was. But because men nowadays no see life so no for them just is what they can get and a true love no true love not the end of the relationship again so i just be a for what they can get so them just need a woman we ambitious fending for herself so for me yes we ladies must be proud that we can fend for ourselves so they can push we around that i eat real talk yeah um Yes, um, and, and I must say that I do think women, I'm not going to say are, are they are a bit, I'm going to say they are a lot too ambitious when it comes to the financial expectations of, you know, and, 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 and support that they expect from men. Most times women act like men don't have feelings, they act like they are not humans, they act like they, they shouldn't make any mistakes, and they put them on this pedestal because um, for some, somehow, some way, I guess they grew up with this Cinderella thing in the back of their mind, and you know, what they are expecting <laughs> is fairy tale like really and therefore you know they, they put men in that spotlight and are forever looking for it financially yes and i must say that the ambitiousness of it is not for the future like to say all right i'm gonna find me a man who's financially stable and in a place to take care of his family should we have one or if i should find myself in a bind during the relationship he's not able to help me out you know um those are the things or he should be able to help me out if i find myself in a bind we are in a relationship right Usually, the ambitiousness is for the woman, meaning they're looking for the man to be, fin be in a place financially because they are expecting to benefit from it in a way. Him have to mind me and him have to this, him have to that for me. It's always about me, me, me when it comes down to the women and not about the relationship and the future of the relationship. Not take up for the woman, I just real talk. No, I'm, no, I, I have to disagree. A man's financial strength does should not be a factor in his um of his about his status when it comes down to the house a man is a man and if my take up a man who is a man and now he's financially stable and somewhere in the future something happened and he's no longer there that don't mean he's gonna be demoted to the boy of the house because i am making the money no it shouldn't um and i and that doesn't mean that if a man find himself in a place financially he shouldn't work on um, bringing himself back where he was. If a man, for instance, say lost his job, being laid off, and he, every day he's watching sports and TV and don't seem to want to get up and get a, a next job, then automatically he might go become the boy of the house. You know, so it shouldn't. It shouldn't. No, I would not cheat for financial gain. No. Or, or any other benefit. Nope. I mean, I got cheat for no other reason. If it not work out, just move on. Whatever the reason is, it's not working on, move on. And that's why me, have to say, that's why me, thank God, say, me independent, and me, I beg him for bless me. So, me have the health and the strength and the, with, the, the, the wisdom, right? To continue to progress so that I'll be able to take care of myself in, in the future. Because... You can't find yourself going outside of a relationship because the man uh, the man can't afford to buy the Brazilian here anymore. Or you can't go do your nails much in time a week and again because of whatever. You know, have to be independent, be in a place where you can survive without the man. You know what I say? So you should not figure cheat if him not, because you should be in a place. Thank God for my independentness. I mean, not going to ever lose that. I work hard enough to lose that because, no, 
would never, would never cheat, never ever cheat because of, of to gain anything. As a matter of fact, I'm not going into a relationship for no financial benefit. The only benefit I would go into one for is somebody to um, meet me halfway and that person is gonna be there for me as a companion and somebody who you say would would help to level you off and to help you to be a better person that person is gonna bring out the better side of you that's what i i go into relationships for nothing financial gain the financial gain is gonna come but i'm not going into a relationship for it i mean if that makes sense but that's just my real talk welcome back guys you're up on a break it's now a minute past 11 o'clock the time is brought to us by vj printing services and real talk is sponsored by native audio stage and lighting we go back until 12 when we come back architects draftsmen and surveyors get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards we can satisfy your printing needs whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application make it vj printing services whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need we do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint for more information call vj printing at eight nine three two two six six clifford guest house sponsor of metamorphosis on monday nights from 9 p.m to 12 midnight with dr iman black located at 15 queen street port antonio that's ditchfield hill they offer accommodations for up to one month call them at 285-0610 for more information For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, Native Audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, Native Audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Tune no, one tune. No, no. Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shaka to the fame. Native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back. Let's just quickly do the la well a few more messages before we go to the last part of this. Um, Vox Pop. Yvette says, we independent women just need a reason reasoning companion to top it off in a sense. But man must be man. Play the role he is to play. All right? May I give back. May I give what I want back. Full hundred. And if I see it as sin on, me stay by myself and use my dildo when me now for fret about STD, laugh out loud, independent woman, me say. Amen to that, Sister Yvette. Of course, reciprocity is important. If you're not getting what you're putting in, 
then give it to somebody else or keep it to yourself. Simple. If you can't give back what you expect to get what he expects to get from you, then it don't make no sense. One person can't be giving, giving, giving and doing, doing, doing. It's a two way thing. And if it is that you need he needs companionship and support, then he ought to be willing to give the very same thing to the woman. Because women are not sticks and stones, you know. We have feelings. We are humans. Likewise, men. So those men who out there just want a woman for what she can give between her legs. Hello, wake up. Start thinking with your upper head and look for something more substantial in a woman than just a nookie. Real talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> man Samusa said, Cleo, if money is not all, why poor man can't get any woman? Well, Mansa, money is not all, but it is important. And two, if the woman herself is poor and pauperizing and not managing, really and truly, she's going to want somebody else who is just like herself or worse to do what? Dead for you hungry? No, I don't think so. No, I'm not, Carlos. It's the truth. Real talk. All right, so we move right along. And you have poor, yeah, people who are poor and ambitious too. No. You asked me a question, I said, no, I don't work, man. You can't cheat for financial gains for. Like, seriously? For financial gains? No. If. <laughs> no. If I'm gonna, if I'm going to cheat, it's not gonna be because I want the money. That's that cannot be it. I'm a working class, independent woman who can manage on my own. Yes, I do need. Every woman will need assistance from time to time. Hello, everybody will need. You yeah, talk some something. No, we have to talk off your ear. Because that's some, that's some <laughs> figures where you talk with. And there's some normal figures right now. But, <laughs> but differently. Game that game change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. What, what, to cheat for financial gains. No, nah. Mm -mm. And differently still, you know, me, me and one of them humble girls, they were from low beginnings. And money not going to frighten me no time at all. Seriously speaking. Honestly. You're not going to get me stealing. You're not going to get me doing those things for money. Because I'm not one of those who is frightened by money. No, it's seriously, no matter how much money it is, I'm not going to be frightened by it. Because at the end of the day, I think that my character and, 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 and my credibility must be intact. Listen. So whether 69 billion or not, me not teeth it because at the end of the day, nobody must say, boy, that I'm not, woman there I'm not teeth teeth. it. I won't. I'm not teeth it. Everything good and a man say and say, yo, 69 billion. Say no. Nah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Other right. benefits. And then, if it is, I mean, I know women who have done things because the need was a dire one. And I'm not in any position to condemn those women. I am not in a position to condemn a woman who thinks that this is where I have to go because this is an urgent matter, whether it's health-related, family, parental issues, and the parents need assistance and they have to do what they got to do to get the funding. If it is that you think that what you need to do is what you need to do, then I have nothing to say to the person who chooses to go that route for whichever benefit they have if it is within a real justifiable reasoning. Because I mean, I'm going to tell you, say, if a person going through hell and powder house with them family, sickness is there, and they can get an, uh, some financial help from somebody, and the basis on which they going to get the financial help to save their mother or their father after the surgery is by that means. I'm not going to condemn them. I'm very sorry. I'm not condemning them. It's a life over death. Exactly. Any means necessary. Survival mode chipping, right? That's all. Real talk. Because people are getting... I did not talk much for this. For free. <laughs> <laughs> so, if your cause is worthy and, and important and vital to you, then do your thing. 
fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. We can live with that. I mean, uh, well, I, mean, I, I think all the men pimp out themselves. Oh, know, Lord, that's f- how f- f- For opportunities, enough men really and truly. And sorry, women are foreign. Really and truly, you, you, you can see say, it's not for love. It's mm. for the opportunity. So men, men, men do do it as well. Um, I don't think I've ever done that. Um, probably you talk to a girl because, you know, sometimes based off of what, how to put it now, more, more, more try to find the right way, not a nice way, the right way. Sometimes you talk to a girl, we don't necessarily want to talk to that girl, but... Hi, <laughs> <laughs> something that they hold you. No, but you're not, you're not, you're not there yet, but okay. you, you realize that in order to conquer this, so. Mm-hmm. Right, you have to go there, so. Because, ladies, it's all about conquering for most of them. All they want to conquer. No, it's it's not a conquest. And when they get conquered, it's, they can't deal with it. No, it's not a conquest. There are times in life when men do things that they do not want to do or get involved. Where they don't want to get involved, but for probably benefits, it can it can be fringe benefits. <laughs> Right? I don't saw the thing set. I hear you, sir. And I don't say, we well, want well, to go do it. You do it and I say, boy, Jan, you star. I'm going to do a while ago, man. You know because what I mean? Because sometimes they think, most times they think with the lower head and not the upper one. It's not nothing to do that part. Sometimes it does. Yeah, but it's not nothing to do that part. Subconsciously otherwise. Subconsciously no, you, you men. You mentioned survival a while ago. You yeah. mentioned survival. Survival, it, of, yeah. survival of their manhood. No. Maybe, say for example, maybe I you then. Um... Mm-hmm. Um, put it now. Mm-hmm, you're right. How? Me, How me, should you put it? Maybe a youth. All right, that one I got born here then. This I got born here. <laughs> maybe a youth want good grades in a school and the teacher kind of up in her age and all my do is when she feel young and I do it my do. You know what? Eh? Let's go to <laughs> the next. Don't have eh? Cassidy. Do not have Cassidy. When I want to say, I try to be nice. You know what I'm what, saying? What, what's a decent way to put this? Eh? And you just draw me out. Uh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Seriously. We move on, people, from our Vox Pop idea tonight. Yes. We want to thank you so much for being a part of it. For those who gave their Vox Pop ideas, thank you so much. And I, those who called in and texted in, yes. um, kudos to you. And those who are in the corner, you are free to remove from the corner and Lisa, come back. Come out, baby girl. Come, come back out now. to the front of the class. No. <laughs> I have a little article here for some time now that I've wanted you to read. Oh, my. And I think it's important that women listen to this one. Is it about us or the men? It's about... Or the birds and the bees? It's about us, the ticks and the fleas. <laughs> okay, fine. Yes. Is it, in, is it in favor of you guys or us? You'll see. Five clear giveaways of an emotionally available, unavailable man. Yes. Oh, yes. The men can be emotionally unavailable? Yes. Seriously? Uh-huh. These men? Mm-hmm. Five clear giveaways of an emotionally unavailable man. Listen, ladies. By Leanne Chu. Unavailable. Chu. And it's by lovepanky.com. Lovepanky.com. So it's not easy to recognize an emotionally unavailable man. Right. But if you look past his glossy perfection and see any of these signs, it's time to walk away. What? Are you pouring your heart and soul into making your relationship work? I have done that. And sense that you are not getting the same in return? Hmm. Huh. We have all played the tedious game whereby we snoo, we swoon and fall for the perfect man, bend over backwards to let him to get him to notice you and realize too little too late that he is completely unavailable emotionally at the worst kind that. Of. Hmm. But they're unavailable physically. <laughs> <laughs> this is especially frustrating when you are re- when you really like him and want to take the relationship to the next level. More often than not, emotionally unavailable men will all will be all up for fun and games. But once you start steering the relationship towards becoming something more serious, they go running for the hills. Hmm. Three, the three main characteristics of an emotionally unavailable man. Cassidy, 
If these three things describe you, then you are emotionally unavailable. <laughs> so what exactly puts a man into the emotionally unavailable category? Generally, they tend to exhibit these three basic characteristics. Generally, we said, all right? No hard and fast rule here. First thing, they tend to be poor communicators. <laughs> oh, so God. This means that they are unwilling to share their thoughts and feelings with you and prefer to keep things locked up. But what after when a punk? You are a punk for doing that. No. Number two. But, uh, that's Next, rubbish. They tend to be full of excuses. Reasons. God. Reasons, not excuses. Whether it is explaining why he had to cancel you on you and yet again or cancel on you yet again, or telling you why he just cannot see himself committing right now, he will be full of reasons why he cannot reasons, give yes. you what you need. See, reasons. Reasons? Yes. Crappy not, reasons. Not, not excuses. Crappy We're reasons. Giving you a reason. Lisa says he is a dead stock, literally and figuratively. <laughs> yes. Go back to the corner. <laughs> Go back to the corner. <laughs> Real talk, Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> we let him out, Labrish said, <laughs> once a man say to me, a nice woman like you single, may tell him something happy. Like I am, and each time I travel, uh, let's see what the rest of that says. And each time, hmm, technical difficulties there for a moment. We're coming back to that one in a sec, all right? Let's go back to the article now. So, we're on reason two. He may have excuses for everything. Reason one, him keep everything bottled in, in poor, communica poor communication. Three, lastly, Guys who are emotionally unavailable tend to run from serious commitments. No. They detest long-term plans and choose to avoid discussions about the future, no matter how great the relationship is going. No, but Unfortunately, you, you hold that thought, please. Unfortunately, men with emotional problems are a plenty. Most of the time, it is hard to weed them out from the mass of other eligible bachelors on the market. For a cute investment banker in, exp in expensive custom-made shoes to a sexy scuba instructor in a form-fitting suit, he -he. <laughs> men with emotional problems are everywhere. It all comes down, ladies, to trial and error. That part of me, Frida. And if you are unlucky enough to snag a man with emotional deficiencies, mm. you just have to deal with it. Yeah, mm. deal with it. So five clear, I clear, clear giveaways. Emotionally Ladies, you see them signing? deficient. Deliverance. Right. You These... know from up front, so no expect, <laughs> no hug up, no walk and all and business, oh, right? God. After we don't do that, something I'm going to bed and I'm going to sleep on my back, turn to you, right? Nobody come hug me up. Go sleep on the couch. You go along your yard. Oh, my God. Remember, I am emotionally thing mm. there, plus me dance tonight. Don't go to your ladies and go give him no nothing at all. Give him stay by himself and do Annie Palmer. <laughs> Five clear giveaways of an emotionally unstable man. Fortunately, there are some early warning signs that you can pay attention to. What? By catching these signs early, ladies, you will be able to save yourself the heartache and drama that comes with dating an emotionally crippled man. All Unless right. you are fine with the relationship having an expiration date. Keep in mind that you should not turn a blind eye towards these red flags. Hello, red flags here. So number one, the sign we are going to look out for. Yeah, the first red flag that is em that he is emotionally handicapped is when you start noticing that he is not he is nothing but all talk. Meaning men. They use their mouth, and not, to, <laughs> and not to do the right thing, but to just Oof. make promises, don't fulfill them. So they're going to do this, and they never get it done. That's one blab, talking. Men like these enjoy talking about themselves, and that they do well too. 
Yeah. Do not mistake big talk with being proud of one, one's achievements. There is no harm in taking pride in an accomplishment. So if a man talks about what he has achieved, yes, and so on. But the man who talks about himself, yeah, all the time, it's all about him. And he's a bag of chips and more. Look here, man, watch it, big talker. Hmm. Nothing back at it, no substance and nothing. Learn to know the subtle differences between the two. For example, there is nothing wrong when he says, my article on the political and religious plight in Gaza was recently nominated for a Reader's Choice Award. Fingers crossed, I win. <laughs> However, if he says something like, I know that my article is kick ass, and it is about time that I get recognition for my work. The other douchebags who are up against me <laughs> do not stand a chance. Let's celebrate tonight. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Men who are emotionally unavailable have a tendency to not only brag about themselves, ladies, but unabashedly place themselves up on a pedestal. Men, let a woman be of such that a good woman can see you and say, yes, man. That man, you deserve to go on a pedestal. I put UL Jackson on a pedestal. Yeah. What says it, UL Jackson? <laughs> and I put Daddy Road in a box <laughs> underground. That's how far he goes. <laughs> Lord. He will also tend to brag about materialistic things, such as the amount of money and stuff that he has. Influential people, he knows how much he spends on the latest gazette. Gadget, rather, and other ridiculous things that should mean nothing. Talking big also t extends to empty promises. I told you earlier, you know, yes, man, I mean, right there, article. <laughs> he will make a million promises and follow up on none of them. Example. Examples are t talking about weekend getaway plans, and when it comes down to the actual planning, will make excuses on why he cannot make it. Promising to show up at a family event, no sir, and then canceling at the last minute. And oh my goodness, that message just turned me a while ago. And many more. More often than not, men like these spend plenty of time talking about themselves to elevate their status in other people's eyes. And when it comes down to actual performing the deed, then flake out. <laughs> Let us want to have a big the ego one boost. Oh, and then people feel say, yo, star. That money I got it. And he's go on. But deep down, him not have a use. No, nah, no sense, Bruce. <laughs> Number two, attention war. Wow. Men with emotional deficiencies. Why you have to say also, like that? Attention, W-H-O-R-E. <laughs> Men with emotional deficiencies also love the spotlight. Jesus. When it comes to them, there is no such thing as being modest. Or taking a step back and allowing someone else to, to bask, shine. yes, in the limelight. Their ego is usually huge, and this prevents them from being modest, even if it's just for a moment. There is nothing wrong with being comfortable in various social settings. And if you find a man who is social, a social guru and can get along with people from all walks of life, then good on you. However... If you have to be able, if you have to be able to differentiate between an attention war and a social butterfly, when a man is a massive attention seeker, and I really despise these, I'm serious. There is a high chance that he is seeking validation for something, or is trying to compensate for a short tilly coming shortcoming <laughs> attention wars usually display distinct boots of jealousy narciss narcissism arrogance and low self-confidence so in jealous him all about himself negative mm -hmm. arrogant just can't reason yeah. and low self-confidence if you find it hard to believe that massive attention seekers will cause you grief in, your in the future, remember that when a man is not comfortable and happy with himself, <laughs> my word, 
Why and has to, to seek there? validation from others. He is probably not going to be happy with you either. I'm going to repeat the part there because I really talk that. When a man is not comfortable and happy with himself, he has to seek validation from other people. People must boost him up and yes, and he feels good about himself based on what people say and people think. And based on how people, people put down other people and elevate him. If that's what makes him feel good, <laughs> trust me, ladies, if you're with one of that or you're looking at one of that, you're never going to be happy because he won't be happy with you either. No, Over no. time, he may shift the attention from himself over to you and expect you to adhere to certain norms and standards that he sets out. And if you are unable to comfort, conform to his rules, yeah. he will dump you. A yes. True, a real talk. Always keep in mind that when a man measures himself worth, is, is self-worth based on how many compliments he gets from others, he is probably not mature and secure enough to be who he is and will not be able to give you the emotional stability that you deserve. Yo, daddy rude, may I tell you? I don't like this article. Well, like if you're a minute now, just be a minute for this article because it's a real <laughs> article and a serious note. Any man who you see need validation from other people. He don't know himself, he don't confident in himself, he don't know himself worth, he don't know who he is and what he stands for. Yeah? There is a serious problem. Ladies, it's a red flag. Red flag, attention seeker. Alright? So please. Over time, he may... Well, we got that one already, sorry. Um... He is probably not mature and secure enough to be who he is and will not be able to give you the attention or emotional stability that you desire because he himself just unstable. Three, shady history. There is no denying that emotionally unavailable men, Cassidy, tend to have questionable pasts. The experiences that they have undergone may have unconsciously led them to behave the way that they do in the present. Within the first several weeks of dating him, you should be able to garner indications of a shady history, particularly from details to do with his past relationships. Mm -hmm. True, true. Knowing why and how he was single when he met you may explain why he behaves the way he does. For example, if he was traumatized because of a cheating spouse. Yeah, man. It is not surprising that he wants to take it slow with you. Sure. I'm not going to rush into it. Non Give him the time and space that he needs to fully trust you if that's the case. However, if you hear through the grapevine from one of the horse's mouth, from the horse's mouth that he was the one who did all the cheating. Pick up your No, 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 run no, Run off no, into no, the sunset no. and leave him to the dust. No, we don't know that. Real talk. Real talk. Why are you going to give me the article here? Long time. <laughs> you have to realize that no matter how awesome he says you are, if he could cheat on, if he could cheat on her, he will probably cheat no, on you. No, 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 no. Probably is the operative word. It's Still, a real talk. That, Something else. Strike out the whole statement. Ouch. Something <laughs> else that you have to remember is to show for your bleeding heart. You will never be able to change a man no matter how hard you try. Ah. Uh, so forget it if you boy. think that you can erase his bad boy habits. And turn him into a fit for Disney cartoon yeah, type man, of prince. Massive tell you, man, stop, man, stop, try, stop. Although everyone deserves a second chance and should not be judged based on their past, on their past selves, you should not take the risk if you are truly looking for a stable man who will be there for you emotionally. Vague at at attitude, and we are up on the break. It's eleven thirty. Yep. Brought to us by VJ Printing Services, 
And the sponsors of Real Talk is Native Audio Stage and Lighting. It's so loud. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the final few minutes of our show. We go until 12, so stick around and stay with us. Please feel free to call in. The number is 453-1444 locally, 876 before that, and 954-338-79. And Seven please three. don't leave us yet. We have something really special for play where we we'll have to discuss after this article. Yeah. All right. Right. We don't, have a, we don't have a letter tonight, but we have something where... I think it has been circulating in social media a couple of years ago or a couple of months ago. I'm going to play it tonight and we're going to talk about it. So vague attitude is the next point to knowing an emotionally unstable man. Yeah? Another indication of emotionally un inst um, emotional unavailability is an, uh, is an evasive attitude. He is probably so super vague when it comes to discussing his thoughts, goals, feelings, and future with you. He probably sidesteps these issues every time you ask about something he is uncomfortable talking about or steers the entire conversation to another activity or topic. No, no, no. Something wrong with if every time you talk about it, he evades it. Something wrong with that. You must at some point can address an issue that is bothering or affect, affecting your spouse. Real talk. Do not jump to conclusions if he does not immediately share every little emotion with you, especially in the early stages of the relationship. Many men tend to need time and space before deciding that they are comfortable enough with you to share. That's fair enough. However, 
if plenty of time elapses and nothing changes, you probably have a problem on your hands. Men who are emotionally crippled also tend to be very vague when it comes to the small stuff. Whether it is explaining why he was an hour late to, you, to your lunch date or why he does not like your group of friends, emotionally unavailable men prefer to be vague on emotional issues that require explanations and details. Number five and last, focus on sex. Wow, fourth. As much as you may love sex, when you are seeking a stable and long-lasting relationship, it is obvious that sex should not be the number one priority. Real talk. Real talk. There are two ways that he can use sex to unwittingly prove that he is emotionally unavailable. The first way is by withholding sex. When you initially start dating, the sex may be phenomenal and constant. However, you may notice the spice seeping out of the sexual relationship and it may seem distracted and biz bizarrely, biz biz bizarrely unwilling to have sex as often as before. An excuse that he may use is, I cannot seem to have se a sexual relationship with someone whom I am emotionally intimate with and I'm only physically comfortable with bed bodies. Seriously. If he says anything along these, those lines, dump him right away and do not settle for a sex-only relationship. Real talk. He is simply making excuses because he does not want to take things further and is manipulating you to get sex with no strings attached. And can I tell you, you have some men who are smart and manipulative where they manipulate worse than how Lee Boy Malvo was manipulated. Real talk. Another way that he can use sex against you is by giving you all the sex that you could possibly want and need and not committing any other way. Unless you are fine with being his booty call girl, do not delve any further into the relationship. Always... Always remember that you deserve the very best when it comes to a life partner. So do not settle for someone who is unwilling to give you what you need. There is nothing wrong with setting standards for yourself. Ladies, there is nothing wrong with setting standards for yourself. And do not settle with someone who is unwilling to give you what you need. If it is that he's going to walk away because he can find something else, fine. If you not getting what you need from the relationship, then it makes no sense you're in it. Plain and simple. Fair Remember... Enough. There are plenty of eligible men out there. Like me. So if you find yourself tacking onto a man who is obviously emotionally unavailable, keep these signs in mind and do what is best for you, no matter how difficult it may seem. And let me add, no matter what people will say about you, do what is best for you. Real talk. Don't like that article. It, Leanne Koo, born in Singapore and raised in Malaysia. She don't know nothing about relationship. Parents. She don't know nothing about relationship. Nothing she mm -hmm. don't know. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I have a, um, an audio. Well, it, it's actually a video. But we're going to play the audio version of it. And I think... It would be good if um, 
ladies, call your person or if you're with your person, make sure so them are listen to it. And fellas, call your lady and listen to this with her because I think you both gonna want to ask each other the question. All right? I'm afraid for where I come with. <laughs> so <laughs> just laugh. So but this is important for y'all to pay attention. Me no want to do nothing but listen to this. Listen to every aspect of it. Clear? Not even sign you for sign with your life like you're both do right now. You for sign when you listen to this. Go ahead, my engineer, sir, please. What's up, guys? Joey Salads here, and I got $10,000 here and 100000 here. Now let's go see if I can buy somebody's wife. Hey, excuse me, guys. You two married? Yeah. What? How much for your wife? What? <laughs> <laughs> What? I got ten thousand dollars. How much? I'm so sorry, no, man. <laughs> Come on, look, it's real. Check it. Ten thousand dollars, one night with your wife. Ten thousand dollars is some bullshit. <laughs> Don't fucking steal it now. Oh shit, it's real. All right. Uh. All right. No, no. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Let me see the money. I'm sorry. It's all yours. Sorry. All right, wait, wait. Before you guys go, how about <clears throat> how about hundred grand? Babe. Check it out. <laughs> Hundred grand right, okay, one night with your wife. Right, well, babe, listen. All right, so check it. Make right, sure well, it's real. Hundred grand one night with your wife. Hold it up. Yeah, look. <laughs> Legit. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. All right. What are you? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Just Seriously, one night, me and her. This. One night. What would, what would you do for the hundred grand? Like, no, no, what would no. you let me do to you for a hundred grand? <laughs> All right, I don't want to know the fucking you could, you details. Could down, payment on, down payment on a house right here. Just for one night with your wife. Hundred grand. You guys get your dream house. Down I mean, payment. I, I mean, I'm good. I'm good with it. You're good with it? I'm good with it. Yeah. What about you? Sexual favors included. No. No. A hundred. A I'll, 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 throw in, really I'll throw in the extra That's ten. No, hey, look. All of this. Are you kidding me? Did you? Are you like playing me? Is this a joke? What are you gonna do? Look at all this. You could buy a Louis Vuitton bag. You could buy, you could buy a, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini with this money right here. <laughs> Get yourself a new wife for this money. <laughs> uh, I don't want a new wife, but I mean, another 100 grand, another 110. I'm okay with that. Come on, it's You're 110. Just one You're night. I'll, I'll bring you back by 8 o'clock in the you morning. You say it. You say the word. Your call. I think we should do it. I think we should do it. I think it's smart. It's smart. It's a bad business decision not to. Oh, f guys. <laughs> 100, come on. I'll, br I'll, how about, I'll bring her back here by 8 a.m. Um, okay. Yeah? Okay. All right. Done. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna give her a last kiss last me. kiss before I do it? A <laughs> hundred grand. I'm happy you made that decision there. Thanks. Let's go. Appreciate it. How are you? I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> So they accepted. They accepted. I have the video, I can send it to you. Uh please do. So she said, I heard her saying, it's really up to you. Yes. So she gave the man, well, her husband, the opportunity to decide whether he wants to say yes or no. Yes. Suggesting to me that she's quite fine with it. She's quite fine with what is waiting on his, on his authorization. On his authorization to yes. do it. Yes. I wonder if he answered her when she said, oh, "Hi, how are you?" When he, she came back. Well, that part was she saying to the guy to the walk off, mm -hmm. "Hi, how are you?" So familiarization start right there. Oh, that was when he took. Oh, when they were about to go off yes. together. So, oh. so, so, so the man walked off with the um, oh suitcase goodness. of a hundred and ten thousand U.S. dollars, and the other man, man walked away with his with, wife. With his wife, For and she night. said, "Hi, how are you?" Until oh. uh, until eight o'clock in the morning. What a one hundred and ten thousand. Since you can't give up the money, why not? Okay, the Lisa, I'll, I'll send it to you, Lisa. No, sir. So, the question Put me of... Up as, what do you call it? What's, what's the play in, in, in um, something there? What's the play mm. in, in, in draft? Um, what's the, what's off? The, no, no. Is it draft or chess? Chess. 
Yeah. You give up. You know, oh, a pawn. Pawn. Yeah, you sacrifice a pawn. Oh, There's a call coming right there. Call on the 954. Hello, call. That looks like Dan Dan. Hello. Hello. Hi, caller on Bye -bye. the 954. Good night. Greetings. Yes, I know it's you, you know. I know it's you. I... I hope, I hope the man I don't intend to give her no, no, no bonus money, you know. What you say? <laughs> I, I hope the man don't intend to give her none of the money. <laughs> ah, him not forget none. <laughs> I fear yeah? money. No, 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 no. This, 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 this is the man so bonus money. So tell me something. No, 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 and yes. take the money and say, if you go on for the one night with this yes. person. And you all tell me, say, the money where you carry gone with you, I feel your money. Then, then clear. If you, if you decide to go, to go, go for the one I night. I never thing. decide to go. Is the man <clears throat> decide, say, she no, go? No, 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 no. The, the man with the money, the purchaser, not, 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 not carry away my suitcase. She's going away with him willingly. I don't know. I don't know. Going behind the back thing. No, so I mean, I see the video, but me, me hear it. And is she apparently wanted to go because she said it's up to exactly. you. Exactly. <coughs> but if she, so if she, no man, she, she, she needs, she needs to go negotiate, negotiate with a man separately for fear. For fear. For fear. All right, well, if uh, I saw the case. If that huh? were me, which it wouldn't, if that were me, try no yes. say my money I collect before. Cause next thing man gone with my money gone about films, I'm not see him in ever the, again. Yeah, in the and video, left, in the and video, the guy left with the money. Good, eh? In the video, the guy no, left man, with the money. No, the husband no, left no. with the money. Seriously though, seriously though. No. <clears throat> you, <laughs> you go, you go, you go unfit, yourself with your husband, and and you forget pay for that. It cannot be, hold on, stop. Dan, Dan, stop be, be in fear. <laughs> it's either she get the money and she give him some of mm. it, or they both share the money because the two of them agree, say, him could have said no. And if him said no and she still go, then he has a say. Because she force and go. But if they both why decided think, to why, go, why think, the money think, must be shared think, for the two of them why equally. Think him, why think the husband not say no? It not happen. Why think him not say so? Because he's a crook, and he want the money no, for himself no, to run no, away the money no, and live no, with the man. No, he probably he probably wants to see where where her mind where her mind is. Why you and want to see that? Him... Why you really want to see that? Seriously? No, but clear. Come on, clear, man. Clear, clear, clear. You either, clear, you clear. either no. tell her straight clear, up, clear. no, me not in a this. Don't come no. talk about you try to see where clear, her mind is clear, so you clear. play along. Stop clear, playing clear. with fire, man. I woman, I woman, I woman. Any woman of virtue, when the person asked me the question first come up, then just walk around and, and pull her out. Come on, this, this is candid camera stuff. Dan Dan. You know. Dan Dan. Stop being yes. superficial now because there are people no. out there. Hold on. There are people out there who <coughs> are in some open situations where when trouble take them, them reach in a position yeah. like this, them now say no. And to them, some of them will tell you straight up, say, look here, man. The benefit will be for both of us, and at the end of the day, this will, this two will fade. There are people who will say that, and I can't condemn them because they must know the situation. There are men, you men who love orgies. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. You both are your consent to something where you normally do. But you consent to it, whether because the woman wants it, or because the man wants it, or whatever the case may be. You, you decide to get involved with that. And the same thing, no. Both people have what, it's, what is called their right to choose what it is that they want to do. So if these two people choose, say, boy, because we need this money, and we have X and Y to do, and we are going to need the money, we will going to decide to do this. Them discuss it, mm -hmm. and them choose to do it. How dare him leave with the man, what I, what I man money? I feel bad, a saka saka. <laughs> Outer order. No, no, but it's, But nothing that, done, Dan. Him to licky oh licky and cream gone with the woman money. <laughs> but clear. Dan, Dan. Look, look, look here, you know, you know, if this go court, if this were to go court, 
the man that can prove all sort of emotional distress for him got through. Yeah. And, 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 oh, yeah. and, and she don't go through and none. Course, none at all. She don't go through none, none because she want the beneficial benefit and of then, helping. And then probably turn on until until he said uh, to, to pay, pay more. Can you imagine? No, can, can you imagine this distress? This Emotional distress the man got you. Dan Dan. That look like early. Oh, give Dan, me Dan. a break, that Dan, look, Dan That look like an early morning. Give me a break, Dan Dan. 24 hours of trauma. Are you serious about emotional trauma? Yes. Where him are the two are? Why is she enjoying it? Then? Is she into <clears throat> it? You know what the woman say? Hi, how Dan are you? Dan. That the woman that went, Dan, hey. Dan him licky licky for the money because he could have said no. No, but clear. But, but clear. not, 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 no, 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 Don't bias. Don't be biased. No, him can't say no. Oh, 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 that if means that she don't into said, it. If the man had said no, she probably wouldn't have done it. She would have disappointed. Man, Look here. Dan so Dan. What? Dan Dan. She did not do it. Dan Dan. Yeah. Me and you know, so if the, the man said no, she'll cut the deal around the corner and, and, and after the man gone. <laughs> she'll cut deal and cut the man out, 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 out of the spoils. That's why we don't want no emotionally unstable, unavailable man. Because if he's stable emotionally, he can look upon and say, listen to me now. This is an, on my part, this is a no. If you want to go, so when you go, don't come back. He needs to stand firm as a man and not just have a head that stands <coughs> firm. Stand firm and say no. But him agreed to it, then you're going to tell him about emotional, emotional turmoil. Give me a break, Dan Dan. Not Listen, an emotional the, turmoil. You just crave the, and clicky and that want probably, the money. Um, pacify is, 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 yeah, the money. I, I, the money would, I, would, I, would, I, would I, um, negate a little bit the emotional Oh, give me a break, Jeez, Dan man. Dan. There is nothing right. emotional, traumatic there for him because he right. did not say you, no. You can't, imagine, you can't imagine when the man got through, man. Oh, my God. Dan Dan, please. Dan Dan. You're not convincing mm. me one if, bit. If she had get no money, she don't forget nothing more than the little extra $10,000. Because, <laughs> because, 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 because at, that, at, at that time, you can't, you can't see the boy. She has said, wall wa, wa on, man, wall on, man. I just a 10 pack alone, she forget. Mm. Not mm. she don't forget all time. Well, Dan, make, mm. so Dan, Dan, you don't take away my money. Mm. As a matter of a fact. Let me gone, gone work, Look hard here. for, feel we build the house. Take away my money and gone with it, gone hide with the next one. <laughs> gone to Hawaii and Dubai with my money. No, we will pay them for a different house and left you. No, sir. Why, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not love for you. I sent them a service about this. <laughs> all right, Dan, respect. Later. Yeah. All right, Dan. All right, 6880, that was calling us on the 954 number. The, no, the line is now free. You can call us back and let us know what your view on this is. That's 6880. Your number ends with 6880. Um, give us back a call, please. All right. So, all right, listen now. Let's see. It, it kinda, it, it, it's sticky, right? The brother there. I guess the man calculate in her head. All right, we have a caller on the 954. Good night. Welcome to the show. Good night. I don't know how they mix up to where go, but I don't know me about the money and they sitting on that. So if he's done, turn me off right away. <laughs> when me they hear, say, man, if you take away your money, I go do what I want to do. Charm, I also say the congi. But me don't know you never say nigga me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chum, so look at it and, we, and call us back if you can. All right, we have a caller on the 453. Right, oh, I think we have a call, another caller. I think we had a caller on the 453. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that 6880. Call back now, please, 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 please. So we invite the caller on the 453 to call back as well. Yeah. Yes, clear. I'm on, I'm on. Yes, you hi, man. So how are you doing? So, all right, clear, man. Glad to hear your voice. You too, my darling. Good to that, hear man. you. I agree with that. I want to forget the money, man, because when you serve, when you rent out back one machine. <laughs> machine. When you work, when you rent out what? Back one machine. You don't pay them things. You just service them. Hi. <laughs> oh. I beg your so, pardon. Bro, 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 bro. He rent our road. 
You rent out for hundred and ten thousand dollars, so she don't need no money. But if old child are never rent renting himself. Eh? In the for rent himself. Want, the man warrant she. No man, he out of the man. Well nobody uh, nobody ask her ask him for rent. I just rent her still, then I take her money, then if that be the case. Fuck clear. I mean on a machine then say so you're gonna come to me now. You don't wanna rent me, you wanna rent a machine. Look here, yeah, machine for rent. Me not me not a machine, but it's not easy. But no, but no machine should be a man clear. No, sir. Eh 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 eh. Me can't, me can't want accept that one day. She don't want, want in a clear. Look here. Him didn't know what the proposal was. He had to be the one to say, listen. He said, if you're in a this thing, I gone me God. <laughs> well, he might take money, but then I send on. If he want a machine, go buy one, one sort of machine or something. Now tell the man for no machine, man, and rent her out. <laughs> and gone with the money with yourself. No, oh, sir. clear. Can't end our Clear. Start. Really and truly. Clear. Put yourself in that position. Mm -mm. You have your husband. And a man say, him want you rent you for a night. You da go? No, me na go. Me na okay, go. Okay then. So that idiot woman. Yes. Me, what I, man want back with that, that woman there again? Hold on now. Hold on now. I am trying to say to you. I'm looking at it from different angles because I know of cases where people in what is called open relationship. And when them discuss and think, aye. and you wonder, hold on now, aye, and aye, then aye. them things are going for long, 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 long. <laughs> and I want to tell you something. People who in a man not a must relationship mess up and last as long as them. Because them level of reasoning and what they want and what they establish between each other is just so different. So what I say is, for the person out there who might say, uh -huh. me and my guy or me and my girl have a kind of relationship where certain things are a priority and anything we could do to get this achieved uh, together, we now left one another, we are stick together and we are going to achieve this. So you have people right. who are not like the average person who will make a decision like this and say, yes, me have a problem with this. Because at the end of the day, the bigger picture is we get the money to do what we need to do. It's just some sex. There are people who think like that, Carla. So may I say, if they yeah, come to that agreement. Yeah, clear, but no uh, man want then the woman they clear. <laughs> Through no wife. <laughs> the man never the woman to clear. I and lie the you are there. I lie you are there. A machine and the man. Rent out, lease out. Yeah, man, just lease them out and done, man. That's it, man. And take the money and go on. So how much better are you than yes, she? Uh, when you take the money uh, and go on with the man money. That that no licky licky. Uh, no, I'm uh, not. Hold on, the man. She <laughs> was out of the right. She didn't want the money, so she go. And you want the money and send her and take it. Who is better than who? Tell me. Well, clear. You, 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 you Answer my question, you call a man. Call a man. You have a doctor down there that rejuvenate them things in us. So, Look, 110,000 may get, may can spend 10,000 back for now, rejuvenate, or for rejuvenate. So, me still I ask you, which one are the better? Rent out again. So, me asking you, Carla, how will you redo, redo, and whatever, whatever? Men we more done than women yeah, we do. Yeah, but that's the thing that would do it, do, 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 do me, things clear. Me want fit, you have to tell me who is better than who. You who take the money and go with it, or she who do it for the money for benefit, clear. whatever. Who, which one are the better? Clear. I have, clear, I have, I have nothing against her because I remember now, you know, she's, a, she's, my, she's my investment. I may have to look out for my investment. All right, Carla. Because now she become my investment. All right, sir. All right, clear. <laughs> Lord of his mercy. We have a caller on the 4954. Good night, caller. Hello? Yeah. I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> the time gone. But listen to me. Yes. That the man that the man would have happy know who he went to go find the man for your own dread grand. Because me then they go with no man, you man to licky licky when yes. he's gone, she should have make him go game for him sitting for your own dread grand. Make him go walk me. <laughs> when he's making 100 grand of him, would have to go give him service, not me. I'm <laughs> going somewhere else, and I don't want him again, neither. Oh. Miss Say. 
Mm-hmm. Real talk, Charm. Thank you, you, you so much. Charm, you watch it? Uh, you watch it? Yeah. You watch it? Of course, me watch it. Then I me can't let ask for you. You me say the man would have to go sleep with the man. For me, God, me no want him again as my husband. Oh boy. What? But, are you ready for rent, Yoti? But yo, I eat them, I eat a food. Me not care about not eating no food. Me, 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 me suffer for eating food and, and, and work too when me want. What kind of style that? You don't have to go give your service. You don't sell me to nobody. <laughs> so, <Boy>. Real talk. <laughs> exactly. All right, Tommy. Cool. Thank you, darling. Cool. All right, so we... Well, a, a very interesting one. Let's see if the text line here says, um, in my opinion, that couple has no value for their relationship. Uh, the event is very pathetic, and it is a very clear-cut sign that money is the most important thing and not their marriage. Renting your wife for the night for any amount is just stupid. All right, thanks for the text. And you know, as she said, the person said that money Listen. is the priority. There are people who have money as their priority. Yeah, Debbie, check your something. Me send it to you, Debbie. Me check, me send it to you. Me send it Call to you. Call on the four five three. Good night and welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Me no na give you man no na the money because I said me send it. So you forget to have money. Why you ain't go sell yourself? Huh? Why you ain't sell yourself? Then she go sell herself, so me no collect. So she fair want... money then if that be the case. She want me to sell her, so me sell her. No man, no <laughs> man, no man. You talk, mix up man. You mix, you mix up you know. You mix up. Bossy, no, no, no. She asked him. She, she said to the man, say it's your call. Yeah. Then, then, then that she give him authorization to sell her. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Is okay to sell herself, you know? I mean, get the money now. What she forget to tell? Nothing. I hear you. That don't say what for you with me, so I tell that now, no. say, me chilling, I get no nine money. Just maintenance. Maybe $10,000, the, the extra $10,000, where the man add on money, I fear. No, sir, not even that now, because I never see me back when I get the money there. <laughs> so you don't get that 10 pack because I'm gone in good. I'm gone for good. But I know you want to die back. All right, sir, we hear you. All right. All right, thanks so much. <laughs> to all our... To all our um, texters and callers, let's, let's see if there are any messages that we didn't look at quickly, Cassidy. Um, well, the system is giving some problems here again. Uh, well, we are do we are out of time though. Can Lisa, I me delete it. Me no want to see it, Lisa. Me delete it. True. Me no want to see it. Lisa says, let's see what Lisa saying quickly, Cassidy. Um, Kimoy says, loving the vibes. Thank you, Kimoy. And to all those who were locked in, well, we do have some technical issues just now. So can we get you get that up anytime soon, Cassidy? No. All right, we are the system is a little bit fluctuating, so we are out of time, anyways. And if you did not hear your message, it's really no fault of ours. All right. Uh, we have come to the end of another Real Talk. Indeed, it was a pleasure working with you. It was a pleasure being with you. Let me say on behalf of my engineer, Cassidy, and my sick, uh, mad, and not good, but ear growing back, co-host, Daddy Road. A.K.A. Dunce. <laughs> and not pep ready. <laughs> On behalf of both of us, all of us rather, Lady Cleo saying, until I see you again, continue to do good in 2019 and to be good to all the people you can.